Anyways. <clears throat> if you're wondering, as a VOD watcher, why I was not talking. Well, you're shit out of luck because I'm not going to tell you. Haha. <laughs> Wasn't muted, that's for sure. And for everybody else, tonight is the night you're gonna make it happen. Yes. Um, uh, mm, mm. <clears throat> so I need health, though. It needs yellow and purple. This is not the best for him, but he does get purple a lot. Mmm, sure. A red. Red, red, red. That's a bonus for the red. Anyhow, I'll be finishing this run today. Even if my internet dies, there are fucking tornado winds out there. Not the kind of tornado winds that are actual tornadoes. We don't get those here, but it can still easily fuck up the uh, network connection. I think these will be... Oh, wait, this asshole has some something to say. I'm just a filth. Yes. Yes, you are. Did it not put it on? Oh, it's fucking weak. Hey, Bob. Ended with house. <clears throat> Wait, you ended... Damn, never end with house. Never end with house, dude. You always gotta stick it to the man. If you don't stick it to the man, then... What is the point? Wait a minute, this should be better for uh, Bunny Man. Let's look at the health of Bunny Man. He's level 25, and he's got 40 fucking health. Are you kidding me? Get some percentage on that bad boy. 50. Uh, sh what? In the... Well, we lose 7 shielding, but we gain, like, what, 11 health? So that's a net positive. Dang. Also needs some yellow. Oh, actually, purple and yellow. So, you know what? Keep that. And then the orc can get this. The orc. The rat is going to be condemned to die. Don't care about the rat. Rat. We got life leech and flat damage versus true damage and life leech. It's only a little more damage. What about the other spear users? Actually, Elf! Wouldn't you become a spear user? Yeah, you like perception, so your perception is going to be real high. And you got nothing else, skill-wise, that would warrant any yellow. So yeah, you can get this. Filthy fuck. <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> elf. The Elf. Elf should have the, uh, this thing. Whoa, and you know what? Does nothing. What the fuck? What in the shoop the whoop is this? Wait, it didn't take it off. Take the fucking thing off! Why can't it take it off? Why is the game lagging? Take it off, Jesus. What's happening? What's happening to me? Apparently installing mods? Jesus Christ. How's aligns with your ideology the most? A totalitarian piece of shit who wants to rule from his ivory tower and oppress the people, calling it the greater good, I'm keeping them safe, lol. Is that your alignment? Damn. Damn. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> Alright, these are going to get broken. These are also going to get broken. Yeah. Although, yeah, I don't care. We are close to the end. Oh, it could have been given to this asshole. Um, you can get this. 
Oh my god, look at her goddamn collecting. Collecting is pretty strong. Oh, the child could have taken whatever. Goblin, what are they? Yeah, the goblin child is going to stay here anyways, so it's fine. 17 damage, so fuck all damage, but it's ranged. Or not ranged, uh, area of effect, or... More damage. Oh yeah, these are literally the same, but this is worse, right? Actually, no, this is full uh, physical. This one has the good... The good leech, yeah. 100% <clears throat> of health. Return the shield. And it deals both shield and health with full damage. So that's basically... That's what? Like, 34 damage. If the enemy also has shielding, so that's 34. You lose 70% shielding from him. And it's slower, a lot slower. This guy needs... This guy only has two wits?! No, he's keeping the sword. Holy fuck, I just realized he's super slow. This guy has 15 wits, he's a lot faster. But this, this damage-wise does not make up for that. Even with the AI OE, because the enemy is pretty good. The AI is pretty good at spacing out the cards most of the time. So screw this. Screw this too, actually. 46, yeah, I don't care. Question is, do we want to craft something or just jump on the, uh, the light bringers? I think we're just gonna jump on the Lightbringers, because... where are they? So this is where... That, oh yeah, we have to come here. This is where that guy... is hiding. Actually, this is the Goblin's Shaman guy. We don't actually need him. What is this? Oh, C-meters, of course. I don't want to do that. Yet... They are everywhere. Because there's the arena. Because we already got the heart from killing the elf tree. We don't actually need to do anything. But I mean, we can. And I got like, what, four hours. So... I only have to squeeze it into four hours. Essentially. So you know what? We're, we're rolling out. Gonna look at that uh, goblin side of questing. Filth can come with us, Bunnyman will come with us. Yeah, because Lubavid is the one that stays here. Hemina stays, Blubber stays, Deathhour stays, the rat. Rat will stay for now. Once the goblin grows up, the rat can go and die. Yeah. Filthy rat. I'm not gonna take any other resource. Only food. Let's go... 13 variety, plus 1. 70 turns, so we're not too fat. Oh, it's actually winter time, so take a little more wooding. <clears throat> That's good enough. <clears throat> Maybe not necessarily that, but you feel like house ending could be your favorite? We do have to see all the other ones first, you guess. Um, I mean, the house and the yes man are pretty much the same. And by yes man, I mean the uh, career's ending. It's just, you know, who do you want at the at the helm after that? The dude in the pod or the courier who's actually doing the grunt work. Uh, and I'm not going to tell you the others. Watch my VODs. <laughs> Watch my VODs, man. We're gonna sail, actually, because it's faster, and we can reliably win the, sa the water things. We tried the Happy Trails expedition, realized you don't care about hanging out with tribes, we just shot the main guy and left. Honestly, I've done that a lot. <laughs> you just go up to Joshua Graham, and you go, hey, say hello to your god for me, you just kill him. <laughs> and then you just kill everybody. Take the map and leave. <laughs> yeah. I've done that <clears throat> a fair amount of times when I don't have the patience for running around in caves, hunting down bears and doing stupid shit. Yeah. It's not a bad uh, DLC. It's it's a decent thing. 
And the change of scenery is also nice because you actually have some green and some blue and it's not just brown on brown. Uh, you know, it's not just sand and rocks is what I mean. Not, not anything else. Don't take it out of context or do take it out of context like I give a fuck. Uh, but yeah, some, some more nature look, you know, it's, it's nice. It has more life. But, uh, but yeah, I, it's not my favorite. You don't need perception, you dumb shit. I'm gonna train him for war, although he's super slow. He needs speed. This asshole does not get any speed. That's why he will never be good. I'm actually gonna give him some sanity because he only has 35 at level 20. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get to do the job. You have more faith in house knowing what to do than the career. At least your characters. I mean, your characters, yeah. Although, then again, one of your characters was at least, uh, whatever. Um, why are they in the same tile? There are like two dudes. There's a Kraken and a pirate ship, and it kind of looks cool. It's like the boat merged with the Kraken. But we all know they will both attack us at the same time. And we are going to suffer for it, so I'm gonna save. Ooh, even more crafting? Yes. He's maxing that crafting. Craft maxing. Because, you know, your character is at least one of them was a very diplomatic person, so... Yeah. Or the line, you can't expect God to do all the work, so I think I basically finished the DLC. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's basically like, we, don't, we gotta kill the savages, but only the ones that don't accept God into their hearts. Yes, let me, let me uh, check this infinite pile of, of guns while I talk to you. I am the, I am the burned man, Joshua Graham. I didn't die after being set on fire and shoved into the Grand Canyon. I crawled out and I bandaged myself up and I took over these tribes. Yes, I'm a new Canaanite and I am, I am God's right hand. And it's basically like, yeah, 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 shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, just die. It's a surprisingly tough fight. I guess it depends when you get to him. He probably scales with level. Levels. Ooh, this goblin really wants to be a goddamn murder goblin, huh? Fine by me. As long as it's better than a rat. Pirate as a small village. I don't really want to talk to the pi- Holy fuck, look at all that red. Fight the Piratesh. They attacked us with a Cooper, an Elven slave, and a baby. We killed a slave and a child. And another person as well. What in God's name? Water lair. I kind of want to fight the Kraken, but yeah, There's a lot of red everywhere. But they're all tiny. Lopez then should try and craft some proper endgame gear. I don't think I have enough stuff for it. I have a lot of research, so we could check that out. Recently watched the intro and just found out Benny is voiced by Matthew Perry. Really? I didn't catch on to that. Then again, I'm not very familiar with Matthew Perry's voice. Thing is, the game has been rigged from the start. Ring a ding, baby. Meow meow. We got God's Branches thing, we got the Moonstone thing, we got Igneous Spikes thing. Uh, oh, we need more spiked leather, so we need three more advancement points for morph leather, morph material. Actually, we need the enchanted bone as well. Oh my god, when will this end? 
but the earth core is down as well so we need six more points that's easy to get <clears throat> and then we can just do whatever the crack we want we, we can sit here all day collecting triad wood burn it and then be happy okay we got a lot of that work more on that and the berries because it's winter time what is the old lady doing oh she's researching she's the one who researches I'm the one who research. Uh, we could make some more veggie bake and jam. And I still don't have any sushi. Uh, grass in a bowl. Uh, those could be things. So yeah, seaweed and uh, berries need to be together. Oh! Seaweed and some blue shit under it. Swim to the... S Let's investigate the southern side this time. Oh, it's just fish. Great. Well, that's a waste. And look at this, though. Into the western parts and kill whatever is here. Bunch of sharks. I want the shark. Shark sounds good, huh? Ah. Uh, it's, it's garbage, but it will give us some good materials if we break it down. This is pretty cool. Problem is, it's normal, so it will never be as cool as what we have, even if we max it out. And we are already fat. Oh, because we, the boat. I need to make a better boat, actually, is what I should do. I need to make a max out boat. Like the highest essence boat from the lightest materials. A character could get good luck. That's a fucking perk. At level 36, 37. They are basically three levels away from getting maxed out. I I will probably wait for that before doing the end. Honestly, I was thinking about the yesterday's Gosks fight. You know, where I could have turned my chosen into a bone dragon or a, or a Zmei or something. Equally awesome. I think that would have reset the level to one. You know, kept all the upgrades and perks from their human form. Given it was. It would have been uh, giving them uh, extra stats based on what they turn into, and maybe even extra perks, even maybe even extra tanks, plus possibly reset their level back to one, so they could have leveled up another 35, 40 levels. So I kind of fucked up, but I was proud that we just beat its ass before it could even lift a finger. So. Yeah. Didn't want to turn my chosen into some nasty ass snake or a bone dragon, even though they're cool. But oh well. <clears throat> Your goblin child is about to become an adult, and it is time to discover the spiritual path. You must choose what journey the young one will take before, God's willing, they might return as an adult. Gathering or crafting, or they can become a fighter. Are you fucking serious? Well then become a fighter. They become a fighter. Child. Trials for a fighter are tough and dangerous. Goblin child must prove their mental and learn to use their size as an advantage, and not a handicap. Not a handicap, but a red cap. Am I right? Yeah. Because uh, red cap, goblins, whatever. Child proves their worth as a skirmisher. Ooh, goblin skirmisher, and, and they are attractive now. Every single fucking character is attractive in this game now. Something broke with that. <laughs> I saw someone mention it in the comments and you were like, well, no way. I can't listen to Benny normally anymore. Ha, <laughs> sucks to be you. Haha. Uh -huh. I've mostly seen Friends in Hungarian, so I I'm, I, I, don't really... I've seen some movies with uh, Matthew Perry in English, but I, I don't know what his voice is. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. It's a cool line. You really like the line before that. I must, it must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Yeah, but that's not as true to every day as the uh, game was rigged from the start, because I think we can all kind of identify with that line, you know. Normal people and also systematically oppressed people all can, you know, be like, yeah, I know what that feels. <laughs> the game being rigged from the start. <laughs> it's, a it's, it's such a r true line for the real word that, you know, it... Yeah. The writing in the game is, is gold, though. An 18 karat 
good writing. Yeah, I'm funny. <laughs> All right, Goblin Skirmisher, light-footed and agile. Another stuff as typical warriors. They are still fierce and unpredictable. They can have authority issues due to their training in separate autonomous cells. But if their clan is in danger, skirmishers are the ones to fight the long-term battles. Look at their stats, though. I mean, I know they are in the village, so they get a bunch of boosts, but still, already better than the rant. They have headbutt, so they will be a decent warrior. They have flying daggers for perception and head and reliable argument. They will hopefully not need this. Wisdom is not something I want to focus on. Intelligence and strength. So now I need to give them melee, melee weaponry. I don't need to, but I will. Might as well. La. Oh yeah, they're called La. Look at them. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> what are they wearing? Alright, La. That you don't need anymore. And look, they have decent strength for carrying shit. You know what? They're not going to get anything. I love how they have a screwdriver. Like a legit screwdriver. And a dagger. <laughs> oh, goblins. I fucking hate them. Anyways, let's keep going on. Yeah, it has the value of being like more usable in many contexts, but that line is so fucking good. Dating Karatrano, bad luck. I mean, it's good if you can say it to someone else before blasting the brains off. If someone tells it to you, uh, I mean, eh. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, all the lines are good. The best lines Benny has is when you're fucking him. Yes. I don't even know what he says, but I mean, the sex lines. Of course they're good. All right, Gram Grams. Keep with the mysticism, although, could get the ghost axe on you. Oh yeah, ghost axe. And the chain whip. Gram Grams is a kinky man. Uh, speed, I guess? I am not satisfied with the berserker class. Then again, I only have one, and I never used them outside of the village, but... Eh. Likes to tie people, giving him lower. When where did we get a goddamn ember wand from? Nasty. You know what? If you disagree, you're a little bitch, and your brother was too. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't know about my brother, <laughs> never had one. What happens if I make scrambled eggs from this fucking egg? Oh, if angered Swarok himself, darkness descends upon your people and many become cursed. Oh no, whatever, we're just gonna wait f until the next egg qu thing and that will remove all the curses. You know, I could hit up the water demons. It hit up the arena as well. But I'm not going to. We're just gonna beeline it to the this place, do this mission, maybe gather some mithril, also uncover the rest of the uh, the dwarven lands, and possibly talk to their uh, village. Oh no, poison dagger. You know what? Fine. That's a matter for that one. I just saw some fucking cargo up here. Ah. We could step on that cargo. God damn it! It keeps rolling me the fish! I actually want the challenges this time, because we can do them now. It's rolling me the fish. Rolling in the fish. One of your people has particular talent for teaching and has taken extra shifts at school. At the school. 
Kids and adults alike find it easy to learn from them. Oh! A random event that can happen? When you have a school? Oh, that's the first time it happened. Maybe we need to make a better school. I don't know if that makes the event have a higher chance of happening. Let them teach you crafting, rituals, or some... Great, ask him to pass on some wisdom. The problem is, I don't know who's being selected. It can be any of these motherfuckers. So, if it's, for example, the rat, and I tell them to pass on some wisdom, they'll probably teach someone how to bite or some shit, right? I don't need that. Crafting, however, is always good. But I'm guessing the, uh... It's Hamvina. Hamvina might be able to pass on some wisdom, but you know what? Let's just go crafting. Great. Blubber got better crafting. You know what? That's fine. Blubber will be the assistant. That's a very rare event. Holy shit. Such a rare event. What didn't happen? This asshole needs more strength. But I'm gonna try... Put him up to 20 perception, though. Mm, this... This motherfucker is trash. At purple. I'll give him more speed. And you will just go with Will Drain. Corruption is better, though. But Wielding can be used for physical. Actually, I don't want her to go for physical. Then again, she's got decent health. You know what? Get, get everything. Get a little bit of everything. I'm gonna spread them thin, so they're going to be decent at a lot of things and good at none. So we still have to use our numbers. That's an advantage. Saying it at the same time. But the, uh... The little bitch line. I mean, I wasn't singing it. Wait, that's a song? I, saw, I thought that was a line from the game. What the hell? Look at them. Fireflies. Fire dragonfly. Alright, Lightbringers. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. The Chosen is in the town. Next turn. I can also gather a bunch of knots. We can go knots. We can actually get a lot of knots. Coal. And gold, just in one fell swooping. Oh look, the witch! Pay for a lot of curses, thank you. Uh, you can have like, I don't know. Have some extra. You, you're not gonna be uh, cold for the winter. La! That's good. And orc. I'm not gonna give you showing off, are you mad? Headbutt is okay for him, but showing off ain't gonna happen. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. Alright, I'm gonna jump away for a second.
Ay, 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 ay. What is happening? Oh, it's one of these asshole towel sucking things. I remember this event being super common back in the day. Wolves swearing in the dark. You bloody useless pile of drum, get the fuck out of me, oven, you son of a whore spirit. What are you doing? Who are you? I don't care, I can talk some. If you can just talk some sense into this oven, craft it with my own hands, perfect. If the temperature just so, I would make the best cake there is. But no, this idiot spirit got itself trapped inside and won't leave. Help me, stab dwarf. I'm stuck. Kill him! Kill the spirit! Brrr. Done. You managed the spirit successfully and the dwarf claps his hands. Aye, laddie. You did it. That was the best acted gang bang stuck step spirit porn I've ever seen. Here's some food for you. And you can get some resources on the map. Yeah. Alright. Ooh, that's actually sacred gathering tool. Look at that. I should break this, but I'm not going to. It's too good. Ooh, we got some uh, turted kapushto. Uh, some more Trash soup. Ew, mushroom goulash. That's not even real goulash. You don't put mushrooms in goulash. More tooted kapusta. A bunch of types of pickles. We got pickled vegetables with seaweed flavor, grain flavor. This is the one with chia seeds, you know, so your health conscious people can eat some chia seeds. <laughs> and this one is just anything that goes. We got some meat. Eat on meat action. I still don't have all the food recipes either, but I mean that's pointless anyways. And we got some got some things. Yeah, where's the where's the Wayne? Where's the Wayne, bitch? Where's the Also uh, music uh, Where's the Wayne? Did he spawn a new Wayne? Did he spawn obsidian? I don't remember being uh, seeing an obsidian here. Yeah, there was no obsidian here. He legit made a fucking vein of obsidian. Because the obsidian is normally the, the orcish thing. Oh, that is super cool, but we're going this way. Light bringers. It's a tower. Your precious tower of shame bringer. The orc who supposedly was a way, has a way to beat this growing light. Oh, I thought it was a goblin. Never mind. We're gonna kill him anyways. This is unremarkable. A single tower, stone built tower. Only other is the lack of any visible entrances. You gotta climb up. The entrance is at the top, obviously. That the orc you were sent here by the goblin shamans. Ah, yes. Oh, I've done this before. I remember this guy. I think he can join us. He's got them chains on him. Hooked chains. So he's kind of in line with our entire, you know, aesthetic. Orc okay, comes out of the towers if we just walk through the stone. The shamans? Interesting. I did not calculate for such an outcome. Though, not that you mention it, it does make sense. They are creatures woven from chaos, magic and darkness, more than light and harmony. Wow, this guy is too orc. Um, how do we stop the light? Male orcs use magic are not common, what the hell are you? Or tell you how to defeat the light in the simplest possible terms. You have no time for stories and don't, don't care for mo his motives. I mean, I could say uh, I could say that. I mean, do I do I care? Do we care? Do we interest? I of necromancy cannot help directly, but I can. I have learned a truth. Only darkness can defeat this light. Think on it. Yeah, it makes sense. So you can use basic logic. Great. After the awakening, we had peace with grey times, where neither the light nor the dark overwhelmed. Oh, so the, the the neutral ending is the canon. Ah, look at that. Yeah, because you can have multiple endings in the first game as well. One of them being the grey times. Which is the most... Uh... Actually, that's probably the best ending, not, not that I think of it. Because no none of the races get exterminated. Obviously. Makes sense, that's the canon. Otherwise, how do you make a second game with all the races involved? <laughs> Genocide! <All> right. <clears throat> uh, good game, though. Genocide, I mean, I approve. <clears throat> when it's elves, that is. Elves. And maybe goblins. <laughs> the truth, yes. The Black Mist presence will often cause chaos, but it was good. Yeah, so good. Walker cursed us not long ago. 
I'm talking about the first game. For good? Yes. The Heartland not only slay the post flash, but also grab the light altogether. Some will survive, but not enough. So this guy wants us to bring back the darkness and then play the first game again to bring back the light and then play this game again to play. Wow, I see what the devs did there. Or at least the story writers. Uh, fake heart design to restore, not resolve the old ways. Yes. Did this not bring back the Age of Darkness? No, not entirely. The Cosmic Tree is alive from what I gather, no? Yeah, I mean, you, you do serve the gods and they rely on it. Yeah, that's basically the... Uh, that's what gives them uh, service <laughs> on this land. A tree. A giant antenna. So the core of darkness will remain at bay. Only what is left here with us will strengthen. It will be a change. May in fact affect the pointy ears. Hey, I mean, they're dead. They are born of light, and we, as we are of darkness, they likely suffer the curse again. But they survived once, I'm sure they can make it again. Plus, there are shadow-tainted elves who are still alive. They would probably not mind too much. How can we make this hard? Dromoki were once giants, you know. Kill some. Take their hearts. We of course need to defeat the light beast. That now guard the chamber. Oh, wait. Isn't this May in the first game? Oh, it is, actually. The, the fucking Light Beast is the second... Ah... Man, I should have turned my fucking Chosen into this May. God damn it. I think this May are the big-ass snakes. Big snake. If you agree, I will aid you. Remember, not every Moki will have a heart, so we might just have to put on the Doom music and just go to town on them. I agree. Join me. Jo join me? Chain man? No! Wait, got some cool ass things. Who has the best gathering so far? I saw a 37. Funny man is very good. Funny man, funny man. This will make him even better. Forte? Alright, who's got the second highest? I saw another 30 somewhere. 32. Same thing. Who's got another higher? 24, 25. These are the f oh, these are the maxed out fucking beastly things. 25. This might be oh, he's fat. Time to actually play the game now. Are you joining me in Thea 2? Hey, you dude. You know you can play this game co-op. Game actually has co-op, and I, I don't think it's local either. It's like legit co-op. I never tried it, but it's there. I'm gonna invest. Fuck! I don't care about this shit. It's breaking. <laughs> actually, it would have been better for this guy. But I don't care. Group limit is better. I like group. Limit. Anyhow, uh, where did they? But when do you want us to go and kill things? Oh, now we actually just have to find and kill golems. Which is cool, because guess what? This land has golems, or, or not golems, trolls and shit. So let's go here. Gather up some nuts, gold, and coal. C -c -c coal C-c-c-coal? C-c-c-coal. Because we used up all our coal when we crafted all the things. Don't really have much. Actually, we do have a lot. What the hell? How the hell did that immediately just spawn back in? A hey, rat. Think fast. Actually, what am I doing? <laughs> Get, take, take these off. Then again, rat has good gathering. Take off! What the fuck? Sometimes this doesn't work. That doesn't want to get naked for me. Yeah, that's the good stuff. I'm sorry, another one, but we don't need you anymore. But I served you well! Yes. But you need not serve no more. Kill some bees on the way out. Make yourself useful. Ah! <sighs> 
Oh wait, it's still in the fucking oh man. God damn it. It's still in the range of the city. In the city. It's gonna click on things, I don't even care who does what. Put that there. Put the rat over there. And I'm just gonna enter and just go to the fucking Fight! Fight! It's nice that you probably wouldn't like this game, you don't know what's it about. You've been watching the last, like, fucking four streams. I mean, yes, sure, you're playing a game, but... You can see what I'm doing. I'm surviving in a Slavic mythological land. Killing elves. Stealing babies. Having sex with ghosts. Uh, crafting resources and crafting items, getting swole. It's a fun little thing. Leveling up, getting mad at bad rolls. What the fuck? Why would you need showing off? What the fuck is this shit? Get Hunter's Mark, you stupid. And Filth. Filth will get more wisdom, sure. Sure. It's like generally the first time I've seen the screen with cards. Yeah, because I usually skip it. Because this is where the, the cards come in. The fights are the card fights. Because every, every creature, every character in the game has its own skills and such. And it resolves with, with card fight. You do some Gwent or Yu-Gi-Oh or Magic the Gathering. Whatever you want, right? But I usually just auto-resolve. There. And physical has this little fluff on the side. Uh, mental and uh, spiritual has different uh, decorations. It's just pretty cool. Yeah. Rat's gonna fucking die though. So now you're witnessing the end of a rat. A zombie rat. Weep not for the ones who are about to die, or something. We who are about to die salute you, that's the one. So there's the phase, you can see the, the amount of resources that are doled out each turn and the plus uh, delay that turn has. There's the, there's the initiative stuff, you know, like your XCOMs, who comes first and second and so on. The more you use the same character, the more resources they will cost. So now it costs four action points. I only have one action point left, so I can't use him more than three times. And he's going to die. And you can see what kind of attacks are going to happen. Although I still hate how you can't actually click on them and see what it actually says. But I mean... That's a poison damage, at least that shows you that. Oh, actually it shows you here, yeah. You can see what's gonna do what. You can see the order here as well, so this guy is going to be the first. Second guy is going to be Snake. But, I mean, you can see it on the side as well, and it does highlight the, uh, the corresponding card on the field, which is nice. It can also show you who is going to be attacked. Like, this guy is going to attack this part of the rat. Duplicate also means that the same card is put out multiple times. So if you attack one, both of them take damage. Because it's the same character, right? They are just acting multiple times. There's the amount of cards in each hand. Reserve cards, no one has reserve cards, dead cards. Health, obviously you want to bring these down to zero to kill a card. Little buffs you can have. The amount of damage and what type it is, so this is normal damage, this is poison, so it is extra. If someone is uh, less than maximum health, you know. Melee row, ranged row, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory most of the time. You don't need a lot of uh, brain power to get the gist of it. But it, it can get pretty complicated, especially if you have a bunch of variety stuff. There's also card animation speed, obviously put it to max, because what the fuck. You can also forfeit, or just skip to resolution, so after the 7 turns of 
hard play phase, you have two phases or two turns of combat where the uh, each combat round everybody who's alive attacks. And if everybody dies on the on the uh, map, but there are cards in reserve, then those reserve cards are going to get attacked and they suffer. I think they suffer extra damage, but they obviously cannot return fire. So that's how you kill kids most of the time, because the AI doesn't really play them. Because they're useless, so you just kill them. You, know, you kill the warriors, then you walk up to the kids and slit their throat. But yeah, let's watch the rat die. Oh, it took one! It took two! Ah, ooh, ah, it took three! And there's the second round. Actually, the rat will... The rat will survive. Holy fuck. Oh, and there are two more cards, you see. So, I think there are at most two full rounds. So this was the first round. So another full, you know, seven deployment phases and two battle phases will play out and then the combat ends. Even if there are survivors on both sides. At least that's how it was in the first game. You could, we would have two rounds. But the first game's card combat was a lot different. I feel like it was more difficult in the first game because it was not as fleshed out. This one is pretty much uh, fleshed out. It's actually pretty dope. Also, when you select the card, you get all their uh, uh, like valid actions. The rat can only bite because it doesn't really have anything. I think you can also like, yeah, you can favorite them. Or I don't I I don't actually know what this does. Would be nice to know what this star does. Although it's it's probably some kind of favoriting system. So maybe you can favorite spells and if you automatically do things, then the AI chooses that. I don't I don't know. I, I never really clicked on that until now, so I don't know what the fuck that does. There are little animations that play out because coolness. It's a pretty fun thing. I mean, if if you like card games like Gwent, this is better than Gwent though. Gwent sucks. Fight me. I fucking hate Gwent. <laughs> it's such a bad thing. Yeah. The rat lives. And it's actually not even in jeopardy. This is he's perfectly fine. He's not going to regenerate health, though. Actually, he will because he just got sa snake meat. Are you kidding me? The rat just doesn't want to die. Okay, this thing will kill the rat. Yeah, the uh, scavengers will kill him. So I'm like gonna do an evil pacifist playthrough now, thinking what special should you get? Oh my god, special evil pacifist. Is this the one where you don't want to use companions? Because if it is, then... I mean, Charisma might still be good. It's basically... You, you basically do the uh, the same build you did for the first time. The, uh, the diplomatic build, right? You get a bunch of Charisma and Intelligence, so you can speak well. You get a bunch of uh, stats for, you know, barter, com uh, talking, and whatever else. Clients. Intelligence and Charisma, and Luck, those three. So yeah, you just do do the first character again, but this time you're going to be an asshole. Headbutt. Headbutt is good for warriors, right? I mean, not really, but it makes them viable in yellow as well. Although, two flying daggers, I mean, that's kind of good, but he's already a warrior. So he's gonna have, you know, a lot of physical, so yeah, let's go with... That's... Actually, wait, didn't I want to bring him... Oh, I actually wanted to bring him in the main group once he... Actually, I, th I think it's a she, but I mean, it doesn't matter in today's day and age. Just call whoever, whatever, it doesn't matter. I wanted to bring them with the main group, but I forgot, so... Main group has enough very burly warriors. Oh, there we go, auto-resolve and he's dead. Goodbye, another rat. Oh no, another rat is being... Oh no. Oh, he's being stepped on while he's writhing on the floor, dying. No, another group attacked him. He can't... So, if you don't have... So, this is a physical challenge. And he's got negative health. 
So he def he doesn't have uh, you know any resource to fight with. So he's literally just dying on the floor, and there are people and animals coming to just stab on him. So I can't even go into manual fight. He just takes even more damage. Negative twenty five. He's dead. Another one died. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> ah! ah! All right. That was totally intentional. Yes. <laughs> so all the rats are dead now. No companion, no damage, no weapon even in inventory. Oh, that might not be as fun as you hope it will be. But hey, who knows, maybe it will be fun. Halt! This bit of road here is ours, but you're in luck. We all need today's... We... All... Oh, all we need is today's... Today is your food. Wow, I, I just mixed up all the words there. Like, I mixed the these up, I mixed like these up. <laughs> what am I doing? Bandit. Question their bandit ways. If all they take is food. Yeah, you could be better, man. Hello, hold on there, lady. What in a bearded sage's sake gives you the right to judge? I'm human. That's what we do. Also, I just realized that he only has half of his mustache because the other is, you know... Cut up. You look ridiculous. You bring shame to the dwarves. Only half a mustache, no beard? Huh. Hey, we gain maximum health by killing these precious fake dwarves. And Earthbound liked it because they were actually bandits, so you know, they bring the shame to the. Wars. Pets! Kill it! Oh shit, these are. This is the, uh. Oh fuck. I. I. Again, I. I need to make it into a habit to actually check who's fighting. But they. They. F they, f they finished it off. They. They managed to not die. And, uh, Henrina got some wisdom. That's cool. Yeah. That your character's history is a politician, you set the worst karma possible. Also set yourself an insanely rich. How do you set karma? Is that... and then money. Is that some kind of mod again? Um. <clears throat> that will be the random rich guy talking shit. Not actually doing anything and causing big problems for everyone. That's the alternate start mod. Ah. Damn. That's messed up. That's my stone. You're sick. <laughs> Bam. Oh shit. It's goddamn fucking hot in here though. Fucking summer arrived. I hate it. My water is actually room trench temperature now, and the room temperature is fucking 30 degrees <laughs> probably. Ah. I'm drinking warm water. Mm. Okay, it's not room temperature. It's it's probably not 30 degrees. That would be that would be bad, but but it's not a comfortable temperature for water anymore. I need to start keeping the water in some cooler place. I need to dig it into the ground outside and always go outside to get more water during streams. I mean. What will you do if you don't have refrigeration because you live in a shack in the woods? <laughs> I have to do what I have to do, man. I fucking hate summer. Spike, you let her go. Will be manipulating everyone to doing bad things for everyone else. Can you actually do that in the game, though? Because most people want the player character to do shit, and they will not, and that's and it's not gonna go the other way around, unless you have mods for that. I mean, in certain cases you can actually make people kill each other, but, you know, we talked about this. Probably the most common thing you will be able to do is to pull two different factions into each other, so they start fighting once they lose the si your side. Especially if neither of the side or, or one of the sides 
is not hostile to you, but the other is hostile to you. You don't even have to attack them to pull them. And they can just the most thing, uh, the uh, the easiest thing I can see is the uh, the fiends that are around the uh, the NCR base or headquarters or whatever. You can just walk up to them. They start shooting you or chasing you down with baseball bats, so you run away. And then the NCR troopers will kill them. But one could argue that you're actually doing them a solid with that, because the fiends are not wanted. Alive, at least. Only dead. So I don't know. I don't know how it will work, but hey. You go find out. Oh my fucking god, what the fuck is this? That's not a bear cave, that's a dragon. Just got the cave and quickly realized that the large beast must reside here. There are huge claw marks on the walls, and you find several old, discarded scales, most likely from a dragon. We can easily kill it. I mean, we killed Gosk, which was a 15 physical challenge, a tier a level 15, or tier 15, I don't know. Difficulty 15? Meh. And he didn't even touch us, so this is not actually going to be hard if it's physical, but let's see what other things are there. Strong magic emanates from within a cave. The dragon lives here. It is likely protected by a spell while it sleeps. Go and have a closer look. Sneak past it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill the dragon. Kill the dragon. Dragon! It's your first dragon kill! As old as time itself, dragons have long been masters of the skies and keepers of greatest treasures. Some really like virgins too. I mean, who doesn't like virgins? <clears throat> Their soul is pristine. What is this? Dragon breath damage. Damage reduced if the target has armor. Reduced by how much? It's a vertical splash. Damage is two opponents in a vertical line. Damage is halved if the enemy has any number of shield points. Okay. So that's not that big of a deal. Uh, what else? Dragon. This character is a dragon. They are an ancient, intelligent beast feared throughout the ages, known to like gold gems and virgins. They have overwhelmed. They can transfer damage. What? They can summon lava rockers, which are fucking weak. On getting hit, transfer any received damage to one to three other allies and heal self. Okay, it's alone, so it can't do that. And destructive words is not going to be used. It has a crafting jewel. <laughs> and it's beautiful and attractive, because of course it is. Auto resolve is going to tell me that it's gonna be victory with injuries. How about I go and fuck it myself? Come on, dragon. That's a big arena. Why dragon? It's very slow, as you can see. I don't know. Hey, dragon. What up? Beach. Uh... Whoa! It summoned lava rockers, man. Sugoi. This orc is still weak. Headbutt that dragon. Look, the dragon is still 14. You're so fucking fast. That's why it's summoning lava rockers instead of attacking itself. Because these... These are... Oh my god, these have zero speed? Holy shit! These are gonna kill us! Actually, no, they only deal 15 damage. I looked at the health. I thought the health was the damage. I got scared for a second, but yeah, these are... These are just baby trolls. Babies. And as babies, we will kill them. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna put down my, uh... Sexy double blast. I, I thought it was a triple blast, but I guess the, or the old man has it. She needs a better book. Yeah, cause look at that. 88, triple, 74, double. Yeah, he's got such a better book. Anyways, the dragon is probably going to die before it comes. Even Zloslava will come before the dragon. We could do the math, but let's just get on with it. Ah. 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 
Ah. Ah. Ooh. Oh, it did the, uh, the self heal, actually. What a dick. Oh, uh oh. It's gonna hurt us. Ooh. Time to kill it. Yeah, it has no chance. <laughs> ha! Wojta gained 0.3 strength. He wasn't even part of the fight. He, he actually can't be part of the fight. All he has is brute force. Or physical. And protect... Actually, even protect... It. Yeah, hurry up. Hurry up and brute force is what he has. Even his weapon is useless. I don't think he even showed up as a card. I mean, he probably did because he does, does have some skills, but... Interesting, anyways. Slay the dragon and free to loot the cave. Garbage. We got some dragon parts. Very nice. Trash. Uh, too bad it's only physical, so trash. 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 Garbage. That was on the dragon. The crafting jewel. Huh. That's good. Okay. We got some dragon jizz. E dragon juice. I like me some dragon juice. <laughs> All right, let's see who needs this. So this is mostly someone with sanity or health fights. Would this be better than yours? No. He needs that physical, sexy obsidian arm. Physical and sanity. You have physical and sanity. But, first off, let's check Miss. Oh, Miss Love has such better armor. Miss Asshole has better armor as well. What about Petulia? Petula? Petula does not. Actually, she does have Ghost Axe, but not that good. Little less shielding. Although, she doesn't need sanity, yeah. She doesn't even have. She has outmaneuver, which is pretty good. Pretty good. This would give her a lot of sanity and mental shielding. But the rest would go to shit. Yeah. Move, move on. It's perfect for this guy, Radomir, but Radomir sucks so much so far. Who else? Saka? Hmm. Saka could take it. Snowbit is physical. It's got better stuff already. This asshole never fights. But it would be a direct upgrade. Less shielding, more health, more sanity. 11% more shielding for everything else. This will be probably better for him. Uh, it's basically the same. A little less shielding. For certain things. Which is interesting, because it's 36.7. Yeah. How is it less? It's less for spiritual shielding by 0.5. But more for physical. Eh. Should be the same difference, though. I would think, but I mean, at this point, it's such a min maxing fucking thing. One can only wonder what the truth is. Mythical leather is kind of shit now. Is the expedition walking? Oh, they are. What is this thing? Trolls! We need to fight the trolls. So let's kill them. Maybe we can get hearts. No hearts. Oh, that's okay. Keep going, I guess. What are these? Garbage. Holy shit. All about it. Oh, that's crafting tool. Considering you're gonna be a politician, you guess may have to do a yes man again. 
Yeah, but this time you don't go with house, you go with yourself. True politician style. Or trolls, kill him. Give me your heart. Oh, there's a terrain artifact. So we'll do that. Awful a lot of light bringers around. Oh, burning of the uh not the bees. Not the bees! Not the bees! Oh, ritual goes smoothly, effigy is set on fire and burns as it should. And everybody rejoices. We did what we had to do. Oh wow, a lot of terrain artifacts. It's cool. Very cool. Unarmed! Oh wow. I don't know how I managed to do that. I drank water, I swallowed it, and somehow it went into my nose. Chase us. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Absolute nasty. Not the drinkable nasty. It's nasty as garbage. Nasty trash. Oh, mythical leather. We don't care about that. There's the earthbound. They have bears. Who's, who doesn't like bears? I never had bear meat. I know some of the Nordic countries have bear meat. Re uh, readily available, even in canned form. I think my sister had canned bear when she was out visiting fucking Finland or some shit. I don't know. Bear meat. Must be nice. Just eat everything. <laughs> Every kind of animal. Kill him. A fresh deep chasm of earth reveals an underground ruin of dwarven town. Use your tools. We got super crafting tools. Fallen statues of dwarven things. Small tremors and you know a big one may follow, follow soon. Old town square. Search the second building. Nice. Hunter's Lodge. Okay. Leathers and bones. Take the loot and try searching the workshop. Well, loot the vault. Ground shakes heavily here and you need to go back to the surface. But you get some... Uh, 
What? The fuck? My cat just decided to be sassy with me. Hold on. Run back to the surface. Oh my god, it hurts. Ah, oh, pain. Sure, give it perception. Fucking rubbish. Rubbish. Oh, there's another goddamn vampire running around. Topless. Oh, Mithril. Oh, that is cool. I kind of want to get some. Whoops. Get some Mithril. Put these guys back on research. Uh, indulge in some food. Yes. It's a feeding stream when I feed. Honestly, you know what I should do? I should make another settlement. So they could just craft. Although, ah uh, no. It would interfere with Moonbridge. I don't like that. So I'm not gonna do it. Oh shit. Huh, what is that? Nasty. Oh, the goddamn titty mistress found us. Apparently she was not topless, but... Eh. There we go. I'm actually going to do the gang support because I realized that... Anyone uh, put on the, the uh, battlefield actually helps him. And not just others with gang support. Character's defense will increase for each other ally character. Ah. I don't know why it decreased delay. Decreased delay of the character on the battlefield so they will act faster. So it's not their defense that increases. It's their delay that lowers. Because it doesn't t actually say that any defenses increase. There might be some... something weird with this. Target self... I don't know. Although, actually, no, their defense does increase, because I've seen their defense go up every time. Like, it, his shielding goes up, like, by one every time someone goes on the field. So maybe it's not... Maybe it also decreases delay, which would make him super cool. But I actually leveled that up. Because he doesn't need the net shot. Fucking useless. This rat is so trash. That war rat used to be our fat rat. That's why they are in all in all caps. But they are disappointing, and I might send them away. Herbert is very good. The Tsar rat. Pretty strong. Better than a goblin. But war rat is trash. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's the guy 
We asked him why he's killing them, and he was like, none of your business, leave. And we left. But now he's killing goblins. Damn. <coughs> We leave him be. I don't care. <laughs> Once he assaults us, we will kill him. And then we will enslave his spirit. He will be our slave. It's quite ingenious, really. Mm hmm. Everything we needed to unlock is unlocked now. Perfection. It would be nice if this could be zoomed out a little so I could see the entire net in one go. What else do I care about? Swords are quite disappointing. I like the axes. I actually like the clubs as well. Clubs on very fast characters are super good. Like Anchor with that two-handed hammer. Holy shit. But yeah, I still don't like the uh, the spears and shit. The javelins are good though. Oh well. Kinda sad we never really got people who would like wands above everything else because i do have the one-handed wand mod so you know i never really made use of it because the one scoundrel we had died like an asshole oh wow oh what get speed Idiot. Did we research all the things? We did, alright. How much do we have of Mithril? Not a lot. Remember, we're going to teleport back home, so we don't need to worry about the boat being heavy. We do have Obsidian and Dragonbone to teleport, so that's fine as well. So we can gather some more stuff. Bloodborne we could also gather, but I mean... I guess we can turn it into uh, Dragonbone. Plus, we might be able to sell it at the doors. Don't you do it, bears. Convince them, dude. You are friendly. Perhaps you have ain't the enemy. You pay us, we put in a good word. Sure. So they're basically the Slavians, but you actually have to pay them. When you convince them, that's fine. They only needed 20 value. Child's play. Armed group approaches. Convince them to trade. Hey guys, we just want to buy shit. You could give me that herb. I would give you some uh, rocks. I heard you guys like rocks. There you go. Rich politicians spawned in Good Springs. Wait, yours or... You decided on science? Oh, you, you tagged speech, barter and... Yeah, speech, barter, and science is what you need if you just want to talk all the time. Yeah. Or maybe survival, although there's only one guy who has survival skill check, I think. The guy in the east side or west side or whatever. That uh, gunslinger dude who's like, Oh, the world is hard, do you know your metal? 
And they were like, yeah, I have like 70 guns. Yeah, okay, but sometimes your gun's not enough. You know how to live off the land. Yeah, I got like 80 survival. Okay. You're cool. And I don't even know what it does, but yeah. He's, I think he's the only one with a survival skill check. Or dialogue. Plus, I would... Although, the politician with science? Meh. You should have given them sneak. You know, because they're rats. And cockroaches. <laughs> Cool crotch. Uh -huh. <laughs> These bears as well. With kind words. Ready to pay the bears. Oh, that's not enough? Here's some iron. Assholes. Oh, they have another settlement. Nice. That's good. So resolve. Pay them. Give them some fur. So I guess Earthbound is also pretty easy to get positive karma with. Because it's only level 5 convincing. And then you just give them something that's worth 20. And they live on the land when there's fucking uh, adamantine, or adamantine, adamantium, no, like, whatever. Oh, actually, everything is worth one, I just realized. So you just need to give them 20-something, and you can do it with food as well. But never mind, that's super easy. Alright, let's look at them, let's see what they want. Oh, look at that, that's like a, a bear with an ugly nose. <laughs> <laughs> and vampire teeth. That's cute. Welcome, what you looking for, ladies? Some village activities will only be available, blah, 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 blah. Rest and visit. We want to help you. Help, eh? Hey! Sure, why not? They need some gemstones. I'm willing to give some gemstones. Nothing to do here. I have a lot of wood on me. I'm just gonna kill things. We don't have this wee problem, yeah, some men keep going off to some rock and they never return. The trolls are dying, man, check it out. Alright. Alright, mate, I'ma check it out. Oh, fuck, it's far away, man, what the hell. Ooh, luck can do fucking war shout. Destiny and wisdom. It's basically having a uh, artifact on him. I mean, that's cool. Better than the dagger toss. I don't want to give him more, or her, or damn, I don't care. More perception. Strength is what I want, and they don't roll strength because they suck. Stupid ass skirmisher. Okay, hurry up, you don't need. But throwing dagger is trash. So we're just not gonna roll that. So, you spawned in good springs even though you didn't want to? Is that a bad thing? Not a lot of money going through good springs, I imagine. But a lot of simple people. You can uh, recruit some people for your own campaign. Halt! This speed of thing is, hey, what if you want to... Uh, Oh, you wanna you wanna fuck with us? Fuck with you. They just give maximum health. Point one, point eight. Hey, that's actually. I want to run into more of these. From now on, we're just gonna kill them. These are trash. Because they also give decent amount of uh, loyalty. Increase. Oh my back. I had to get rid of the pillow from my back because it was too fucking hot. But now I have goddamn gamer posture. Oh, and it's so bad. Bruh. 
Maybe I should be standing during streams. You know, a lot of people do these fucking standing desk bullshit. Which sure is kind of healthy if you can't keep your posture proper if you're sitting. I keep forgetting what she needs. Wisdom. I have wisdom and destiny. No, actually, all of it is wisdom. Okay. Intelligence. Destiny and wisdom. Okay, so she needs wisdom all over the place. This needs destiny and wisdom. Okay, so wisdom. Wisdom. Wisdom bestowed. And if you know what that line is from, you're one of the good ones. <laughs> Where is my people? Oh, they're here. Whatever is in here, we kill it. Find the rock upon which the siren has nested. Even though you're afar, you can hear her sweet song. And the dwarf said it's hard to resist. Ah, the siren are known for the screechy voices, but so are you. Sing your own tune. Hell yeah. Sirene. What's he as? Birds. Creepy and attractive. Creepy, beautiful, and attractive. Okay. I don't know if the devs did something that fucked this up, but these are too common. Like, all three of them at the same time. Creepy should already not be with... Like, how how is... Okay, creepy and beautiful could be a thing, right? I mean, creepy can be their personality. But how is a creepy person attractive at the same time? What? What kind of psycho fuck is this bird? <laughs> Kill him. Sing them to death. Siren, fly down from the rock. Join you in your song. Bravo, sisters, bravo! A tune was in mourning for our sister mother slain by the dwarfs, but your valiant melody cast away our melancholy. We will leave this place be. May the gods of song stay with you. Whoa, destiny! That's cool. Hey, everybody, even filth got some uh, mental blessing. Thank you. I always appreciate that you got a siren, even though you didn't kill them. So they give you some shit. And some loyalty. And the forest demons also appreciate that we didn't kill them, so, you know. They don't like us, though. Because we kinda killed them a little bit at some point, I guess. It's hard to remember. We killed so many folks already. There's also something still here, some land. I thought you just assumed you would spawn in Freeside, at least. I mean, rough beginnings, okay. But I scammed one person, it's a fine start. What did he do? Is there like a haggle option and you just sold them a one 9mm bullet and they gave you five in return or what? <laughs> but this 9mm bullet is vintage, man. It's got an engraving on the side, you know, this was made before the war. Mm hmm, hmm, hmm. It's worth more than five of yours, but I'll be generous today. So I'll only take five bullets for it in exchange. And don't worry, if you think this is a scam, any reputable trader will understand that that bullet, this one with the engraving, is worth hundreds of caps, so you are 100% making a killing here. If I have to say, I'm actually scamming myself with this, so my friend, take the trade. Yeah. <laughs> you are led to the town hall, a heavy stone built monument of dwarven excellence. There you are met by a council of elders, including a dwarven female who sits in the back and occasionally nods when the others look to her. You know what these ears remind me of? They remind me of the fucking Paz candy. <laughs> The longer I look at this, the stupider it gets. It's also crying snow or ashes or whatever. Maybe that's just... I don't know. Eh. eh. Maybe come. I don't know. It's bad the dwarves just collectively jerk off at the window and just... Yeah, that's not ash or snow. That's all just dwarf jism. Yep. 
Some guy hired you to kill someone and you made them pay up front and neutral you didn't you can't can't get a prison so you just left. You just leave. I can't tell if it's from a mod, there are some random background NPCs that loudly chat about stuff in some places. I mean NPCs already chat in New Vegas sometimes. They you know, I mean it's it's Bethesda NPC talk. But I mean maybe, I mean I don't know. Depends what they are talking about, but what, what what did they say? I will be able to tell if it's vanilla lines or not. Also, was it voice acted? If it was voice acted, it's definitely in the game. Although, I mean, someone could actually record voice lines for a mod. Yeah. Far be it from me to say otherwise. There are voice acted mods, like many? Really? Oh. Damn. I mean, Fallout New Vegas is kind of a old classic. Tell them you are here to discover the Red Caves alchemist things. Aye, we've long been searching for the Red ah, Caves, cool. as you call it. They're shattering the disturbed our tunnels and cities down below, and it will take us decades to find all we lost. And even then, that will be all of it. Trying to keep our young safe, the dwarf wives too. This has been our priority, but perhaps we were wrong. So. You did the shattering? So in the end, we basically figure out that everybody contributed some way, in some way, to the shattering. Because everybody was doing their own shit. Ruining the land. Dividing the people. And guess what? Boom. Boom. Shattered. Fucked. Aye, that does it. Something. Everything. The Earth Heart is the core that connected to the Cosmic Tree. Only together can they create balance. Our grandfather, a great giant of old, one of the first Earth Singers, he gave his own heart so that this may happen. What the fuck? Wait, why is the Earth shattering? The Earth shatters because the giant's heartbeat gave it natural rhythm. But more than that, it's the child of light trying to escape its underground confines, just as darkness did ages ago. Think of it this way, there was a plug that held things together, and now there's a hole. But a small one, too small for the enormous power that seeks a way out. So it is making its own cracks. You need a new plug, else it will keep going. Gotta shove a butt plug up, up the light creature's ass. Hell yeah. Before the heart was a primal time, one of giants and nature demons. The child of light and its sibling of darkness forever danced their destructive melody. We are not old enough to know more. I am. This is what was carved in stone. When we and the Elven King were brought from the light, we were told we must help tame the children. With the tree? I think all the mods you have installed are voice acted? Wow. And you have like, what, 200 mods? Jesus. People are productive when it comes to mods, huh? That's great. It's actually pretty cool. What springs there are two guys arguing about whether Legion and CR would win in a fight? That might be vanilla. Although it depends what they are saying. Not all of those 200 NPCs have NPCs or quests? Oh, I see. But the ones that do are all voice acted. I get it. I get it. I, in some ways, you see with the tree and others like it all over Thea, but your gods were born also. They were the spawn of the light and dark but also of the mortal realm. At least this is what our history teaches. I think others say they were born of belief, a need, an outcry of your kin. Silly. But they were carved just like us, for a purpose they may have surpassed, but that was their design. Behind is that. Holy shit, it's so behind. Hold on. Just kind of want to test something because for like two months now, Twitch always cuts the last 10 seconds of streams when I end. Don't know why. Yeah, it's. 
What's the delay on yours, your end, Bob? If you could check. I'm gonna check the uh, the delay on my end. I have it on low latency, so it shouldn't be more than five seconds, maybe. Five seconds here. Five and a half. Mm, I don't know. Message appeared after three seconds. Don't you have uh, the FFZ control thingy that gives you the uh, advanced video stats statistics that you can get? That's how I look at it. But I mean, three, three to five seconds, yeah, that, that sounds about right, though. I don't know. I don't know why it is like that. Anyways. What were we doing? Uh, this guy's talking about some stupid shit. I'm not gonna go with the dwarf stuff. I want to do the orkin. Or orokin? Not orokin. The orkin. The orkish thing. One mod alone, I did like 25 NPCs. Like random NPCs or or important important ones. Like maybe cyborg death claws or uh, flying uh, mutated scorpions. They fly. That would be kind of messed up. Or two-tailed scorpion giant scorpions. Whoa, that would be cool. Or spitting scorpions. Are there mods that give a bunch of scorpions? Fucking love scorpions. <laughs> Obviously, always have to remember just because it's voice acted doesn't mean the voice acting is good. Obviously. It says latency is around 1.3 seconds. Ooh. That's cool. Maybe I should swap servers i think i'm on the frankfurt yeah i'm on the frankfurt server for twitch although that's probably the close actually no i think there's a uh there's another one that might be closer but i can't change it during stream obviously ah whatever i like the frankfurt server it is reliable german server germans don't fuck their shit then again, they are turning back to coal power plants from nuclear, so... Eh, maybe the Germans are not what they used to be. You know, maybe German engineering is... turning to shit. The mod you are referring to says 25 plus, and also it's some quests. And I need random casual NPCs, I see. How's horror? When your gold king grew strength, Elven King decided to let me stole it to repeat her diary. And some from our youth fell in ships too. Ah. Poor wish, trust in silver. When the tree burnt, they went more to your gold to their hope. That the cause rules well. So the tree will be reborn no matter what they do above. Damn, the gods. So they think it was your god that betrayed the heart? So... Part of the Grandmaster held by the trolls in the prison? The alchemist said he knew one. That's the guy we broke out of prison, so, I mean... He could ask. Oh shit! Don't worry about it. I mean, I did free him, but I'm not going to go with his thing. Who destroyed the heart? It was the uh, mages. Can you 
you make one. We searched the cave, but we also prepared for this question. We could torture us on the hard shoulder, but with a giant and a man or a slice of wood. Ah. Oh, you're no. crazy, Dylan. The other rules have a heart. That is the point of them. We need what gives the life life substitute. We tried to ask him, and we tried to beat him up with flowers. That's a lot of very hard luck. We will send people to the telescope to build into the Red Cave. We will find a way into the heart of the ground. We will new heart room that will be the beauty of our holy footprint. These guys want me to kill the other nerds. You know, Frost Boys. To get the heart. The Orc Man wants me to kill Rock Trolls, though. Pew 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 pew. But the day Fjordgrid following his path, hunt some rocky. Oh, lands of darkness, sort of volcanic wastelands. Oh, so not in the ashlands. Rocky is down here. Okay, I want to do that. So earthbound. I'm still gonna try and get. Well, get friendly with these guys. Maybe I can get some. Uh, Back there, what the fuck? You get some training or something, you know? Because why not? Dwarves are okay. Too bad they are slow. That's my only uh, problem with them, that they are slow. That's why I don't really favor the dwarves. But otherwise, they're pretty good. They're tanky, they have good crafting. They're strong. Search the area. Go to the rock face. Oh my fucking god, it's a dragon! Kill it. This is, oh, that's the Zmei in this game. They exist. But they're more like crocodile dragon things than the snake thing. Ancient creature, a dragon, yet more snake-like than their cousins. Sorry, stock of one Zmei with scales incarnate, even whisper his secret ties. The cosmic tree, yeah, from the first game. Common Zmei are either this offspring of, or avatars, and like their fiery cousins who favor physical confrontations. The Zmei often employ their wits and silver. Well, we're going to fuck it up. Ew, that's nasty looking. Hell web. Mighty roar. Mighty roar kills everybody, huh? Rock tongues entice people into doing the bidding. We're going to kill it. 25 plus. Is it some quests? Also many random... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Audio of the game, like, weird? Is it? I mean, right now I can't check. Maybe it was weird because uh, I was playing the stream in the background and it was lagging. Maybe that's what you heard. Because my internet is shit. See, now you can hear me uh, uh, twice. 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 Thrice. 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 <laughs> Are you crazy yet? And the text was being read. Mm. Okay, let's <laughs> stop that because <laughs> it's annoying. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, is it still trash? Like, is the audio still trash? I, I honestly wouldn't know. Wait a minute, it's our turn first, so we will get less uh, resources. Definitely putting him out. Also, this is a very small map. Zmei, you shall suffer. Actually, I don't need him. I'm gonna put out the. I'm gonna put out the boys. The boys with headbutts and shit. Yeah, you can go out as well. Because you will be able to do some damage. Maybe the characters that actually take part in the fight... Oh, I can't do melee anymore. Maybe those... Get more experience? I wonder. Whoa, we are burning up.
Poor little snake. Audio of the game is really choppy. Really? Wait, this game or your game? <laughs> Holy fuck, Miss Love got hurt. What happened there? Game I'm playing? I have no fucking clue. I can't even hear the game's music. Hold on. It's just drums. Oh, it is bad. Hold on. I, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, holy shit, what the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna restart the game. Okay, now I know what you mean. Dude. Yeah, it's, it's super bad. Okay, it should be good, right? May have been the fucking USB cable somehow fucking it up. And now it sounds okay, it's not... Not derping, but do let me know if it's still uh, choppy. Holy shit. Because unless I listen in, I can't actually tell, because on the audio mixer, nothing really shows. Actually, I guess I can go into monitor and output. Game audio, where the hell is it? Game audio. Should be good. Let me listen in again. Yep. Hopefully we're okay. And I hopefully didn't mess with it too much. Yeah, because I, I can't really... You know, I don't hear the stream unless I start the stream <laughs> on the on the brow in the browser, so you need to tell me these things, Bob. Otherwise how can I be high quality? The joke is that I'm not This book looks cool. But it's bad. Drain rigor, what the hell? That's trash. And this is weak and it's a pole arm. They don't use them. They're basically the strength based spears or javelins. Or whatever. It's fine. Actually, it could use them though. It could use them instead of the axes. It could do pole arms and, and hammers. Because these also have the first strike. And they have the line attack. So honestly, they are better than the axes. And they are decently speedy. You know what? I'll go into them as well. Fucking filth gain the things. Bob, are you still with us? Or did you die? <laughs> oh well, I mean... I fixed the audio. That's the bottom line. Wait, that wasn't even a quest. Whoops. 
That sucks. I thought that was the quest. Oh well. Oh, he's never the Bob. He's never the Bob. He's never the Bob. All right. Well, I guess I'm just gonna resume the the YouTube music. I mean, I could just turn off the game's uh, music. It's only there for the VOD stuff, so you know. you're not supposed to listen to that. You're not supposed to care. It's a bear! Kill it! It's funny, but you have some other problem right now? Okay. What's the matter? <sighs> I guess I'll never know if the audio is okay or not. Audio seems okay. Alright. Thanks. Coven truly don't spawn until you shoot bottles with Sunny. Oh, but you cannot shoot. You can punch the bottles. Punch them. I think you can punch them and it will count. If I remember correctly. But if that doesn't work, then... Uh... You haven't decided whether punching is legal. You can also just run into them, jump, and knock them down with your body. Or you can pick them up, not put them in your inventory, but like, you know, pick them up, so levitate them, and knock them down with each other. There are ways, and I think all you need to do is knock them from the fence, and it will register as being shot. However, I might be mistaken. For some reason I remember that it actually works, if you just knock them down with your body by running into them. But if it doesn't work, then, well, you're, you're fucked. You have to shoot them. Or maybe throw the gun at the, at, at the thing, you know? Drop the gun on the floor, levitate it with your mind, and knock the bottles down with the gun. Or, better yet, drop a single bullet on the floor, pick it up, with your mind, you know, levitate it, and knock the bu uh, the bottles down with the bullet. So you're technically hitting it with a bullet, but you didn't fire a gun. Yeah. Either you're mistaken or some mod fixed it. I'm probably mistaken then. Uh, or probably am mistaken then. I usually just knock them down. Although maybe I, I shoot one and then knock down the rest with the with, with my character's body. Maybe, maybe I'm just stupid. Oh, it would be funny, no? If, you know, fucking Sonny was like, Hey, shoot these, shoot these bottles with this here varmint rifle. And you just walk over to them and, like, grab a bottle and throw it at the other bottle. And then, you know, it would be nice if, if she was like, What the fuck? Well, I guess that's one way to do it. I guess guns are not your kind of thing, you know? Because, I mean, if you're a melee or unarmed based character, you'll probably just punch or or hit the bottles with a melee weapon. That, that should count! Also, wait, you can't use guns, but can you use knives and golf... golf, golf things? Golf clubs? Baseball bats? And those are not guns. Destiny, intelligence, and strength, and wisdom. What the fuck? No mysticism. I guess go with wisdom. Oh yeah, this guy is high wisdom already. Yeah, wisdom, wisdom rant. Welk. Welk. 
Welcome. What is it you want? Wait, aren't we already loyal? Dwarfs. Oh no, we need ten more. Shit. Right, is that you have not a single weapon, do not do a single attack in the whole playthrough? Hmm. You know you can block with melee weapons, right? So maybe just keep a knife on your person. Although you can also block with your hands. So if something like a deathclaw attacks you, you can raise your hands in a defensive manner and be like, No! Please! And it actually blocks some damage. <laughs> Snowbird is pretty goddamn strong now. Find the place where the dwarves sent you to get rid of some orcs. Track the orcs. Surround the orcs and make your presence known. Admit that you were sent here by the dwarves and you're concerned about orc activity. Oh, they are. Wars are not known for playing such games. But let's just, you know, convince them to fuck off. Okay, we're gonna leave. Heal or smoke. Offer them help in healing. Zori, Zori, a smile on you. Zorza, you know, that's the same person. Make your blades sharp, friends. Cool. My orc got destiny. I'm not killing the orcs. Wars are admire your lawful ways. Oh, laddies, good on you. Of course it's good on me. Give them... Give me... Yeah, baby, eight. We need two more. Let's look around here. Ooh, there's more terrain artifact. Let's do that. And then we can become friends with the dwarves, even though the dwarves are made of light. <gasps> a child! A couple of your folk found themselves a child in the cabbage patch. Wait, why didn't they fuck? Okay, so you can have sex with a ghost and create an unliving rat, but a human cannot have sex with a goblin? That's racist. Are you a half-breed? You're not even a half-breed, you're just a human? You didn't inherit the flying daggers. But, but, but. Oh shit. Because it's a male and a female, so that should work at least. Maybe it's the size difference? I mean, they are tiny. Maybe Lub Lubovid would be like, just, you know, it's like a child. I cannot stick my dick in that. Which is, sure, it makes sense, but... Unless... We found this goblin, right? We found it, or we took it from... Oh yeah, we took it after killing its uh, family. So it's not even related. That's bullshit. I wanted a half-breed. Man. He sucks. Get the fuck out of here, stupid animal things. Plant-based human. Actually, plant-based is one word, right? I don't know. I don't know anything. It's a fucking... It's cabbage. It's a fucking cabbage. It's fucking... It's just... It's just text. <laughs> green, 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 green. <laughs> That's enough fun for today. With that, at least. I wanna kill these first. Because they are annoying. Kill them. Ooh. That's a decent looking armor. Yeah, this guy will take it. Fuck, he's weak. What if I take this off? Alright. Oh, but he's one of the main gatherers, actually. Ah, defense is more important than gathering. Hey, you. Take it. <laughs> Elf. 27 for everything. That might be broken at this point. 
Wait, why is Karina with us? <gasps> what the fuck? I took her. What? I just realized that. That she's out and about with the main group. That's not allowed. It's not allowed. Because she's got the fucking rage. I might make a teleport back home, I guess. What the fuck? Yeah, it looks like the armor is going to be trash at this point. It is normal. It doesn't have any extra things. It looks like everybody else has extra stuff, yeah. Break it. They can use the spiky leather from that. Fucking Karina, what is she doing? Why is that not a single weapon? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's your only restriction in, pa in pacifism. You can't kill anyone using in-game combat mechanics, but you can kill people using buttons, speech, and shit like that. I understand, but how are you going to spawn the cob man? If you don't do the... Uh... Actually, you don't have to do that. He spawns regardless, I think. Just, just leave Sunny smiles, just fuck her. She's useless anyways. Miss Love is pretty strong already, I'm thinking of an extra speed. Although he's also pretty speedy. Where's your weapon? Oh yeah, he's actually pretty speedy, yeah, more damage on you. Damage, damage. Holy fuck, this motherfucker will have 20 wits. Yeah. Elves are speedy. That's basically what they have going for them. Speed, nothing else. They're trash. I can't wait for the elf playthrough. I just do nomadic elves. I should also do it on the hardest possible difficulty. I'll probably not survive more than 50 turns. <laughs> Fucking elves. You want some food and speak to that thing? It gives you some shit? Good. Hasn't spawned yet? I don't know. Because I think if you skip the whole Sunny Smiles tutorial thing, he does spawn. Although you did start it, so maybe you have to see it through. I'm not sure. Then again, I never really started the tutorial thing and then left it halfway. I either just don't do it, or do it completely. Speed. Oh, obsidian. Well, we don't need that. I mean, we do. But right now, I would like to get the extra couple loyalty with these guys. And see what we can do as friends. Friends! Rains forever. Oh, my back. Oh, it hurts. Scout a safe place. Dig. We got messed up by an earthquake. Okay, they have enough people that we can talk to them and gain things. Are those rock trolls? Kind of need to kill them, right? Cheer. Here, have some amber, some two pairs. Very nice. Ooh, Dwarf Smith. Pretty cool. Right now we can go and talk to them. They are spawning pretty frequently. I could just actually hang out here and always go into the groups that spawn and just max out the loyalty. Although I think between 50 and 100 there's not a lot of difference. Because from 50, you're considered friend, right? When scavengers are 95 and they are friendly. Maybe 100 gives you allied status? I don't know if that exists. Although I would sooner become allied with the water demons than with the fucking earthbound. Alright. Welcome. Oh, come. What are you looking, looking for, for like this? Alright, um... I would like to kill you, but... Ask if you can visit the ancient forge. 
You can see it, but the old forge master is a whimsical type, so best be on your guard and behave. Not every mark of respect gets accepted. Turmoil is where the true blades this is where the true blades are made. All at the turmoil in a battle cry to honor this sacred place. But the dwarves are light. I don't know if they are turmoil or not. They might be. I mean they're dwarves. Dwarves are not attuned to the weaves of magic. Yet their rune masters found a way to carve mythical forge horse into stone and metal. Meditate and leave a blessing? Now we're gonna turmoil. Ah, child of turmoil, good. Your blessing is well received. May the fires never die for you. Alright, we got some blessing. That's that's it. For five turns. The, ch <coughs> the chosen. The chosen gets a blessing. Hey. Oh, my throat. That was such a bad outcome that I... I almost died from it. I hate how it boots me out Welcome. of the village. What are you looking for, laddies? See if you can recruit someone. You proved your stone, will, and metal arms to us. Some of our youngsters will find you interesting. Only do it once, and a tiny chance for a second when your population is very low. Well, we don't have very low anymore. Be good with that. Okay, so... Smith, or laborers... Some children look at you. Go ask them. No, because we cannot drown... Dwarf children. We can only drown human children, so we don't need dwarf kids. I don't want a dwarf smith. I actually don't want a dwarf. Although I could take them back into town. Yeah, let's see if I can get a smith. Young smith looks your way, but they ask that you pay for their services. Pay a young smith. $25,000. I'm going to pay them in stone and metal. Because I'm just going to teleport them home, so I don't, I don't want to travel with a dwarf, because they will slow everybody down by one movement point. And that is absolute garbage. It's either everybody is a dwarf or nobody is a dwarf. I don't want to give them all my fucking mitril, I just got that. Man. I can collect dryad wood at home and dark wood as well, so that's fine. And by home I mean in the den. Dang it, I'll have to give them fucking mithril, don't I? Literally giving all the lower tier stuff. Barely. I could give. Actually, I could give fucking plans. Plans. So wait, I pay them so they join me. So wouldn't it be logical that all the stuff I pay them with will become my stuff? I mean, they join the uh, the greater good. So. Sarah. Sarah with the GH. Sarah. <laughs> Dwarf. He eats extra food and he's slower. But he has very good shielding and health, crafting and extra personal carry limit, so you can just put the hardest, heaviest stuff on him. They are craftsmen, they have battle order and punch. No blacksmith that call themselves equal to the ancient masses of the dwarven metal arts. Apart from their craft, they also often hold positions of leadership, as great tacticians, and sometimes orators. Sure. I mean, it's still better than a human craftsperson, so, you know. That's cool. Welcome. What are you looking for, laddies? Trade? Also, I like how, since I made the trading, uh, the trading building, it, the trading event for that trading building only occurred once. And it was orcs, and that's it. No one else came since. I can buy some mithril, but I mean, what am I gonna pay you with at this point? How much will these weigh? 200. It's not much, because I spent mo most of them. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't care. For... I'm just gonna TP home. We're gonna collect some more mithril and then teleport back home. Unless I can recruit one from the other place as well. I never actually tried. The greater good. 
The greater good. Yes. Don't get it actually, like your game has no right to be so stable, it doesn't make any sense. You're lucky. <gasps> Door of fascination with the unique beauty of Rusalkas has a long effect in a fact has long been a fact. And well, your own dwarf and water demonette decided to explore those long-time traditions. <laughs> hey! That's a nice little I, I don't know if I should call it an Easter egg. But you know, the uh, the dwarf smith's legacy is also this. The dwarf and Rusaka made kids. You know? Ha! Huh. Stark Hellard's a child from the Union, but who this child will be is a mystery. Rusakas are known to lure males and thus procreate, yet it is so very rare to happen with non humans. Oddly enough, a human looking child is born to the Rusaka, but one that carries traits from both their parents. Take them in. Oh no, they have the fucking reign of frogs. They're half breed. A dwarf. Wait, traits from both parents, but they, they are a dwarf. They are a human dwarf. And not a demon dwarf. Not a water demon dwarf, they're just a dwarf. That sucks. I mean, they got Reign of Frogs from the Rusaka, but the Rusaka doesn't have Reign of Frogs, so that doesn't make sense. It's piece of shit. Uh... Ma'am. That's funny, though. Dwarf and Rusaka immediately got together within the same turn and they just started fucking. Actually, whoops, I forgot. I wanted to go here first. Wait a minute, I can drown that child. It's half human. Oddly enough. Ha ha ha! And now we have zero movement because of this fucking thing. How long till the child grows up? Wow me. Although they are a half breed, they might be, you know, considered a dwarf half breed. I don't know. I'll try though. 31 turns. It's fucking windy again, so we need to watch the uh sanity. Orc wants to war shout. It's too bad. Greater good. Summer. Get out of the fucking way. Greet your allies. Hey. 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 Are they... Oh, that makes them disappear as well. Okay, that's that's better. Oops. Anybody level up? No. Because we can teleport home, then sail to the water demons. We can do that in uh, 40 turns. Or 30 turns. Wow. Okay, we have another child. Forgot about cabbage. Wait, we have another vo Oh my god, I can just teleport back, take both the kids and drown them. Drown every single one of them. Oh, I cannot do the thing. Oh well, leave. Need to do a spiritual healing because someone is fucking losing their mind. And then we TP back home. Some of this shit. This group will also do a spiritual healing because they also have a child. Also, this child is fine, but regardless, we will do it. We'll do it in two turns, fine. God damn, drown me wants to suicide before we can drown them. I mean, if we drown them and they do become a water demon, you know, I mean, that's kind of... It makes sense, right? They are already supposed to be half dwarf, half... Water demon. But they're not, so I'll try to fix it.
Also, I'm going to put this asshole back here. Where is she? Where is she? Arena, get the fuck back there. Cabbage? Is cabbage... Cabbage should be a full human, right? Yeah, because they are not, not half goblins, so we can definitely drown her. Hey! Very good. Think. Almost ran out of food as well. Crazy. Red of War should also die. I don't like them. The only reason they are still okay because they have good resource or equipment, but their stats are shit. Their skills are shit. Like they have maxed out showing off, but they don't have any physical offensive skills other than just the brute force. Because everything else is just retaliation, which is bleh. Toughness is good. I mean, I guess they have the bite, but... Uh, kind of trash. Herbert is pretty good, because look at that motherfucker. Got good innate skills. Good stats. Ah, Rattle 4 might need to be sacrificed. Although we just got two kids, so... Maybe, I don't know. I don't know, man. I want to just destroy them. Alright, let's cook some components. Some material components. So I want to make... Um, ba, 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 ba. Forgotten material. Actually, how much... How many dragon bones do we have? We have a fair bit. Let's cook all that up. Put this to the top so they don't start making food once this is out. Actually, some of you will actually f make... Sushi and seaweed salad. How do you feel about Black Mountain Radio? I don't know what that is. Oh, I, I do know. Tabitha. Okay, I, I thought that was another modded radio station. I, I needed a couple seconds to f connect the dots. I, I've done all possible endings for that so far. It really depends how I feel about it. You know... Sometimes there's no questions asked, gun down everybody. Sometimes I fix the robot and help Tabitha see that, you know, she can go back into the wasteland and explore. Sometimes I just talk, kill Tabitha, and then the robot, I just leave on the bench. Sometimes I kill Tabitha, repair the robot, the robot gets angry, I kill the robot. Sometimes I forget that once you break out uh, Raul from the uh, prison, Tabitha immediately spawns outside once you exit the building and it becomes hostile. Well, not necessarily hostile, but a lot of the times the end is murder. But yeah, I've, I've helped, helped the, uh, the fucking uh, super mutant also. Sometimes I don't even talk to the super mutant Neil or whatever his name is supposed to help sometimes he bugs out and doesn't actually help eh it's fine though it's a fun little side quest i hate this fucking i hate death lover death lover is such a trash ass orc look at this trash ass orc her gathering is good though so let's keep giving her more more wisdom sure more gathering uh, blubbers had bought corruption. Let's max out corruption, I guess. 
Lach. Strange. Cabbage. It doesn't matter what cabbage gets, because cabbage is going to be drowned, so I'm just going to give them vids. Because they might inherit the uh, the skills they have before they drown. How long does cabbage have before they drown? Or they before they grow? Okay, 22 turns. Where's drown me? Oh, it should be at D somewhere, yeah. Okay. 26 turns. Oh, this poor cage. I bet I can't drown the elf. And the rats. This rat sucks. Because you see, they have this very cool thing, this cool thing. They have a cool sword. That's why they have a very high shielding. They are a tank, essentially. But I never put them on the field because their actual damage sucks. I guess in yellow they are still okay. 51.8 and a decent delay. It has okay speed, 11, and they have high shielding, 146.6. But that would mean that I would have to give them intelligence from now, and that's kind of stinks. Because they can't have a second thing. Like, I can see that fucking arm there. Doesn't make sense that they can't have a... a thing. What kind of fucking fighting style is this? I fight with a hand and the sword. Piece of shit. Scumbag rat. I should just sell that rat to slavery. Accidentally stumbled on Hidden Valley and you're now considering doing the hilarious self-destruct? Do it! You could do it, you don't actually have to shoot anyone for that. You can sneak around to get the codes, you can talk people into giving you the codes. Uh, you don't have to be physically aggressive. You can... You can blow them up. It's just a couple buttons. And you said that you're allowed to push buttons. So yeah, do it. Do it, kill them, kill them all. Kill everybody. Try to get the highest headcount without resorting to conventional aggressiveness. Uh, speed. Although, strained. And this asshole. Wait, we research. They're still cooking. One more. Wait, how can they make one more? Ten out. I have ten out of twelve needed. How can? Oh, because they're finishing this one. Hundred nineteen out of hundred and twenty. Great. You know what? I don't care. I'm not in a hurry with the crafting. I think we are in a good place. I can finish the main story. I don't know why I'm doing multiple types of main story. Like, I should just... After drowning the kids, I should just go try to kill those... Uh, Mrokis or whatever. And finish the main quest. And maybe after that try the arena. I'm probably not going to try these mirror or sea mirrors. Because I imagine I would literally need... Uh, max level gear. Like... Max Essence Legendaries. And that's a little too much farming for probably not a lot of gain, you know. Speed? Oh no, I, I didn't put the Dwarf. I didn't put the... <sighs> Everybody has seven and the Dwarf has six. Some people have eight. What about the kids? Okay, this fucking kid has five. But this kid has five because their morale... Actually, their morale is maxed out. Why the fuck do you have... Because it's a dwarf and a kid. Oh my god. Uh... <laughs> well, I guess their father can see them drown. And their mother will see them drown as well, but 
you know that mother i'm basically recreating the uh, the the dwarf smith's legacy thing however the parents are alive for this interesting kill him Actually, if I raid all these pirate villages, I might get enough endgame stuff that I can craft fast enough. Wow, Bunny Man actually wants Hunter's Mark? No. We never use Hunter's Mark. It's just... Oh no, they do go down into the fucking thingy. Stop! Alright, what do we craft now? We could craft... Your stone from Groover Obsidian? I don't have a lot of obsidian. What did I get a lot of? Oh yeah, Mithril. So we need composite metals. That's what we want. That's the hot stuff. Okay, those guys can just keep crafting away at that. Do I have anybody on the fields gathering stuff? No. What about the research people? We don't actually need research anymore. I'll keep the ghost on it. Why not? But Lady Hamvina is going to just speed this shit up. And we've arrived to the, uh, the favorite fucking OSD of all times. Yeah, I researched all the swords and I didn't even go into them because they kind of stink. Vegetarian. Vegetarian choice. With vegetarian choice, we can do grain on grain action. Red. We can do grain on seaweed action. Semich. Seaweed semich. We can do seaweed on seaweed action. There's the green soup. We can do seaweed on grain action. It's more green soup, but with chia seeds. <sighs> and I could do the vegetable stuff, but since it only comes from the... Uh, like these only come from the... The field, the witch hut, and these from the well. They're not farmable fast enough, so I'm not going to do them. We could make nut tincture. Oh, we could make muesli. Nasty. Nut roast. Mm. There are a lot of different food items in this game, and it's kind of cool. Wow, ew, nut roast with onions. Onions and nuts. Oh, pop, pop. Jam. How do you make nut tincture? Is it from here? Nutty stew. Ew. Not in my stew. There's the nut tincture. Why is that plum roast? It's an egg. Nutty stew. Ooh, so spicy, spicy nuts. Huh. Goblins love that shit, but we don't. He ain't goblins. Look at the amount of food types I can just reliably make. Yeah, morale is not a an issue anymore. I mean, it hasn't been for a long time, so. Yeah. Soon.
Two more turns. Making a fair amount of things. Oh, we're done. 102. That's cool, beans. What else? Crystal wood? No. Combat letter should be the one. Yeah. From the legendary... Legendary leather. Or mythical or whatever the crack it's called. She can do it alone, actually. Craft up some... Some things. There's like five months for bounties installed and you're playing a pacifist. Slightly humorous. Yeah, you installed mods you will probably not see. Unless, I mean, you're going to start stirring a lot of shit. So you might still get bounties on you. Someone calls for you to come over. It seems urgent. Young Vodnik approaches you. Say, you did us a lot of, lot of favors, and you seem good with those gods of yours as well. Seem like you can swim in that disgusting salt water. Am I right? Yes. Yes, as well. Then, uh, would you consider doing us a big service? There will likely be good treasure in it for you as well. It's a risk. It's, it's a bit risky, I'll say that much. It involves storming a pirate stronghold, you see. Why? Well, delicate matter. This is not something we like to share with the world, but. But. <clears throat> there is a Wodnik important fella, and he was taken by the lot. As if they, he means Suvarek, the king of kings. You? Yes. What? Why are there questions? What? The worst has happened, you see. They want to prove uh, to us that we are goners, all news the past. That their salty dominion will rule all waters. They took our king, and they say we have three moons before they drown him in their foul ocean depths, and if we submit to their queen. Why will they not do it themselves? We detest salt water, we kind of die in there. We die. We tried, but, but we die. Say that you are able to go to sea with no trouble and even swim in it. I'll do it. I accept. Wonderful, once you are on the water you will receive the coordinates. Okay. We got a uh, main mission for them. Explore the village. Have your human child transform into water demon. They might not survive, that's fine, we don't really mind that. Oh, oh, oh yeah! <laughs> we got a befuddler! The male child of Arusaka is an abomination. I mean, around me was, was a male, look at that. Look at that, now they are actually water demon. That's how you do it. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you do it. Now they are a full half breed. There, I fixed it. The devs can thank me later. I fixed it. <laughs> I mean, it, it only makes sense. It was, it was born from a dwarf and a fucking Rusalka. It didn't make sense that it was dwarf human. You know? Fuck that. And you know why it was dwarf human? Because there's no child Rusalka. A picture. They, they don't have kids. Although it could have been a dwarf kid. But even then it would have been dwarf. And probably just dwarf and nothing else. Dwarf with half-breed tag, which would have not made sense. But now, it's proper. Yes! They are still slow. Because of the minus one. So I will need to give them gear that gives them movement speed. They will have to get a boar. As a pet, probably, and that will solve it. Yeah. Good. Can I drown the other kid? <gasps> cabbage! Yes, yes, yes! Oh no, cabbage turned into a, a boy. Oh no, cabbage. Wait a minute. Oh, it's a utopiac. Often confused with the drowned. Utopiac are water demons. Water Wodnik, territory, less like it. Okay, so this one, it's a female utopiac. It's not a befuddler. Hey, water demons, baby! Water demons, woo! <laughs> I love them. Water demons. Cabbage. Uh... <gasps> From cabbage to 
cucumber. Because it's a sea cucumber. Wow, mind blown. Tsutsumber. <laughs> Tsutsumber. Is that how you write cucumber? I really hope so. I just realized I didn't have to type cucumber a lot in my life. And I don't even see it written down a lot. And there's also drown me. Thank you. <laughs> that, these were the first words it had once it emerged from the water. It was like, drown me, when it was a kid. And it said, thank you, now, and now it's a half bead. It's a dwarven. They don't have a dick. Sad. We still have a fucking dwarf on board, so we should teleport back, but I want to see where the uh, salt water quest is going to be. She set sail. He whispers in the wind, so you know where the pirate base is. Alright. Hope it's close. Ink Suvarek. Alright, there it is. Because they said something about three days, right? But they said three moons. So maybe they mean three full moons, which could mean three seasons, I don't know. I don't know if it's actually timed or not, so I'm just going to hurry up and go there. Strained for this asshole? Sure. Perception would be a lot better, but they'll give them some health and that's good because they're still just a human. Sara can get better dwarfness. Yeah. Strong. They're all naked still, holy shit. I should should craft them some clothing. Actually wait, what can the befuddlers have? They can have everything. What about thank you? This guy can have everything as well. Oh, that's perfect. So yeah. The dwarf. Dwarf fishman will get uh, the movement speed stuff. The other one is not a dwarf, so it's just a fishman. Yeah, so they have seven. Uh, filth, filth has stuff. And the uh, dwarf dwarf is going to be in the uh, in the den anyways, so I don't need to craft them stuff. Crafting. Shouldn't I actually craft. I should try and cook more final level things. So I'm just slowly going to cook the the first composites. Don't have a lot of diamonds. Spiky leather. How do you make spiky leather? Ah. Uh, Fuck, I cooked it all into things. I kind of messed up. I, I kind of forgot. Oh well, just craft the uh, intermediates. Fuck it. It's fine. You have minus 1000 karma because of alternate start, so you already have a bounty. Oh. That's kind of pointless. It defeats the purpose of doing bad deeds if you already start with minus 1000 karma. I feel like. Basically start the game with a full-fledged asshole. What's the point? You approach the pirate stronghold. Oh, that's a pretty flower. It's not as big as the Vodnik made it out to be, but it surely holds a decent number of guards. Take a closer look. That's a blue pirate. Stronghold is built on a tiny island where a ship must have crashed many years ago. This old ship has now become part of the island and the core of the hideout. You know there will be a band of blue orcs inside as lookouts. And also some three creatures watching from below. But you do not know... You do not... Quit? 
You do not spot a working ship, which must mean the main force is away, raining right now. Avoid the lookout and attack, avoid the lookout, take up a strong position, and speak. Have a fucking slave to both swains and a pirate. Petty officers. Oh, they are the logistics people. And a pirate is the pirate. Hey, it's, it's Anchor. There are a bunch of anchors. They have a filth as well. Filth. Defeat the pirates and find Suwerk in a prison cell. He's weak, beaten, and unconscious. Why does he have the jug of water? Ah, yes, I'm collecting water. <laughs> Garbage, but I, I can give it to the dwarf, I guess. I can give some of these things to them. That's trash, though. Take him back to his people. So what are these people? What, what, what do these want? I guess they need destiny and wisdom for their skill. This guy has perception things. But he's strong wisdomy. Strong and wisdom. That's cucumber. What about thank you? Whoa! Okay, so thank you. The befuddler is a lot stronger. A lot of strength, a lot of intelligence and wisdom, and they have decent purple. Oh, they have... Well... But they will definitely be yellow. Hopefully. I'll start them with yellow. And cucumber can be yellow as well. This guy is also yellow. Wow! Fucking Zoria. Red and purple, and we have a bunch of yellows. She's probably not happy about that. But I mean, we did beat up a bunch of things in, in spiritual and physical, so whenever I can choose it for more important things, I do it with those. Unless I don't, but... A delegation from the Water Demons approaches you and takes the injured Suverk away. The emissary bows before you. We cannot thank you enough, friend. Here, a small token of our gratitude. The king is ill, but we will, he will live, thanks to you. Farewell, or we must rush him to his pond. I mean, I was bringing him, but okay. Well, that's okay. One of the, the people can take it. And uh, maxed out item frog with five intelligence. Whoa, thank you. You didn't even get loyalty. That's not how that goes, boys and girls. You're gonna burn your village down now. Dick. Dickhead fucks. Why would they do that to us? Five intelligence of ten health? You will get the intelligence. Turtle. Now her crafting is 94. Baby. This could still be better. And she apparently didn't have a fucking armor on her for some reason. Now she does. This this, this movie is actually pretty good. What does this give? Oh, this is some faith. Alright, we talk to the water demons, see what they want, if they want anything. Oh no, water demons. No. And then go and uh, find some rockies. Although I do want to teleport back home and put the dwarf in the, uh, the cage. Actually, put the dwarf in the cage, which is the den. And 
Do craft something that can give us movement speed. Some armor can give us movement speed, but the problem is I don't know what combination of armor does that. Oh, this already does. Okay. You know what? Good enough. Oh, it's actually not good enough. We don't have gases for it. A little stronger. What about 45? This needs 46, so we can't actually do that. Whoa, it's growing. Oh. Wow. That is dope. Bolt and medium armor. Make it. Although... Increased a lot of yellow. A lot of yellow. Holy shit. Or it can be some faith. It's gonna be the lot of yellow, I think, because... No! How come it's not enough? Because that's perfect for the befuddler, right? It's gonna be yellow. And it gets the movement speed. First of all, she's gonna craft herself an ultimate crafting tool. 55%, 67%. Craft it! How long does this... Okay, this takes her longer, so two turns and then she needs to equip this before working on this. And we check the water demons. Loyalty, explore. Let's go about their king. How is the king? Our king is recovering, and we thank you once again. Alright. Oh! Zloslava became attractive. Okay. Funny man got some luck. Holy shit. He got lucky. Get it? Because he fucked. Fuck someone. Fight them. They like it. Right, and now we get to the water. Actually, we not get. We don't get to the water. Fuck. Teleport. Thankfully, we can teleport. No. No. I don't have enough things. Cheat. Hardest part of the game is really setting up the fast travel points around the map. Wait, you have fast travel points? Is that modded or... Just a... You know, generic exploring that gives you this fast travel. There's no way you can fast travel to anywhere that you already visited. Purpose of doing bad deeds is for the fun of it. But bad deeds are not fun, Bob. Come on. <laughs> bad deeds are bad. We're gonna get some diamond. Might as well get these. Holy shit, I can get three or three. We're gonna just sit here because it's closer. 21 turns. Are you... Oh, shit! Don't make that, lady. Don't, don't do it. Don't touch that. Ah. Whoa. Crisis averted. 167. Look at that. An extra 20%. Good dish. 
100. Ooh, 16% chance that it's gonna be garbage, 35% chance that it's gonna be very good. And the rest is just whatever. Okay, so thank you. Oh, which which one is going to be which? Oh, this is the uh, the weaker one. Okay, thank you is the stronger one. Although they both look like yellow to me. Then again, cucumber might turn more strength-wise. The retaliation is intelligence-based. Thank you has nothing but frogs. I definitely don't want to give them destiny. So intelligence for you. And the both of them have good speed. I mean not really. I guess cucumber could become strength based. Strong fish and the smart fish. Again. Yeah, sure. Oh, I see a goddamn naked vampire running around again. They are everywhere. They're probably the worst fucking things. Can't just put an innocent person in front of a dino. But you can. And put a boon's hat. Isn't that hilarious? Yeah, I know you can do that. And guess what? You can actually do it multiple times, I think. You just have to convince Boone that the first one was a mistake, I think. I think there's a way to make it... Or to have him shoot someone a second time. I'm not sure. Maybe I only made that up, but... I... I haven't done it a lot. I usually don't care about Boone and his story. So I may be remembering wrong, like with the bottles. Gonna check if you can do it the second time. Totally do that. Yeah, please, because I, for some reason, I remember that you can actually do it. Or maybe it's that you can you can tell him that you just put it on a random person, because you didn't care. I think you can actually tell him that. <laughs> I don't know, but but you can be an asshole about it, which is funny. I guess it is funny to be a bad guy. <laughs> In video games. Whatever this is, we kill it. Oh, it's the actual uh, Ziad Moors. Oh shit, Rusaka got hit. What? What, what, what? No, oh, Ice Demons, I didn't mean it. Wait, I should befriend the Ice Demons as well. Just for the fun of it. Wait, what's the time? Uh, I should finish the main quest, actually. Reliable argument? Finally, a fucking skill that you can use. You find the Desired Mraz ah. that the dwarves sent you to seek out. Desired Mraz. He stands watching you silently. But a young girl, made of ice, approaches you. You are searching for Grand. Oh my god. Why? Mean that the dwarves told you ask for their help and stop the shattering. The desired Mraz remains still, and the girl answers after a pause. Yes, so they said many times. We do not share our secrets. Something the dwarves should have learnt, no? Go away <gasps> before my sisters decide to play with you. Fuck you! You kill the Ziad Mraz. But his heart simply melts away, and dead demons cannot give you answers. The dwarf who sent you here approaches. I... Yeah, I know, we fucked up. No, Ice demons, no! No! I run away in shame. There's the arena I could do. And it actually gave us things. <clears throat> I 
Alright, let's 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 finish the thing. Actually, not finish the thing. Teleport back here, then sail back to the to Goblin Lands. Get them rocky. Get its heart, maybe. So we're gonna put the dwarf in here, because fuck the dwarf. Ugh. We're gonna keep the fish people. Fish. The rat has only five movement speed? Wait a minute. Six, seven. Anybody under six needs to be looked at. So this guy is the dwarf, and I'm going to give them movement speed. Five! Wait, no, six. Oh, I looked at gathering. Damn, this fucking rat. Oh, it turned into trash quality. Look at that. That's okay. We just want it for the movement speed. Oh wait, they will have seven morale. Or seven <coughs> movement speed. Everyone is gonna get plus one. Oh well. I mean that's good still to have them. At least the same at least six without the thing. So you're gonna be the strong fish. So thank you is going to have the uh shack gathering whatever. Strongfish is going to get the sword. Man, it's such trash without... Uh, oh wait, that's not the uh, trash quality thing, never mind. I already gave it to thank you, right? Yeah. It's still okay. This thing is bad. Alright. The rest we will not craft up, I don't care, we're just gonna move out. I can loot whatever on the way. Alright. Give us 20 of that. Then give us some food. Okay. Give us some herbs. Okay. Could take the ghost. Just to get some faith and stuff, I and mean, we don't have a child with us. Holy shit, that's a good cat. Two point oh, one point three. Oh yeah. Never mind. Oh shit, a crab! Look at that, a crab. Man. All right, let's move out to the water. Although, yeah, even though the water. Oh, we are not actually heavy, so we can full movement. Because, you know, on the terrain there are mountains and shit. The water is always just the water. Plus, it's gonna be windy most of the way, probably, anyway. So we'll get the extra two movement. It's faster that way. We're gonna sail our buttholes to the Meroki Lands. I think you know is just the lie to that one girl from the caravan that one boomer likes. Oh yeah, she goes up there and gets shot, yeah. <laughs> But then, if you go to the uh, the boomers, the the kid will know, or the the boy, the dude will know that what you've done, and they will attack you. I think. Actually, no, they won't attack you, but they will not talk to you anymore, or some shit like that. 
But I mean, I guess you don't care about that in that playthrough. But yeah, <laughs> that's a funny thing, yeah. You can also have the NCR, or, or basically anyone around there, just attack you. Or start following you. Actually, I know how you can pull non-hostile groups. You have some stolen item in your inventory. You drop it on the floor in front of them. But not too close, but in a place where they can see you. And then you pick it back up. Because then they will be like, Stop that, you thief! And they will start talk, uh, walking towards you, either to tell you to stop or to take back the stolen item, right? So that you can just slowly walk away from them and pull them into a, an aggressive group. Maybe a Deathclaw, Boomer Artillery, Bandits, I don't know. It can be the Piped Piper. Which is fucked up. You shouldn't do it, but... It is what you want from life. So by all means... making a lot of food yeah <laughs> food you can also shoot a memorial fast travel to the boomers mysteriously a rocket will be sent in the closest time really wait is that a glitch i've never done that because i know you can shoot the memorial and and piss off the guy but i mean you're not going to shoot because you don't you're not allowed to shoot Rocket will be sent. Anyway, I will keep following you till the end of time. Really? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That's cool. Alright, well, so thank you is the yellow one. They will get reliable argument. That's perfect. And this one is the strained one and they get line charge. Oh, yes. They're actually getting what they need to get. And this guy gets uh, wisdom. Which is almost as good as intelligence, but I mean, it does work with crafting, so it's fine. Oh, the the water demons. They are the perfect specimens. They're the, oh, they're the final evolution. Pirate village. Kill them. Ah! Gram Gram Snow. trash <laughs> it's so funny that it's bad <laughs> running out of water my throat my throat hurts look at that seven movement baby without wind should I check one of these sea mirrors swim we have a bunch of water demons now. Ooh, shark. We actually have a lot of water demons. One. Hello? I clicked. Uh, that's an orc. Two. Three. Four. We had the fifth one, but they died. They also have a bunch of orcs. Look at that. This guy is half an orc. This guy is an orc. Normal orc, not a pirate one. We have a filth. We have another orc. And I think we have... Or had another one? Maybe they died? I don't know. Anyways. Mix the races. Okay, that's garbage. That's garbage. Okay, these are trash. Oh, living! Oh my God! Living wand. Holy shit! Earth core and living uh, root. 
life root. Damn, destiny. We don't have anyone with destiny. Actually, he has destiny, but his mysticism, like, you don't have anyone with highest stat being destiny. This guy's intelligence and destiny. But this is destiny only. I mean, he's close. 52 damage. But it's slower and it doesn't have the area of effect. Damn, this is a very good one, though. Too bad our uh, only one scoundrel died. Doink. And this thing is weak. Then again, it might be given to the... Uh, Thank you. Thank you has nothing, so yeah. A diamond relic. Right. Alright, let's check the mirror out. Watch it be like a level 20 challenge. And I'll just cry. I'm gonna save before this. It's the thing! We arrive at one of the 16. We can actually do the physical one, I think. You arrive at one of the sea mirrors. See before you several water portals. On the other side, you see the echoes of epic enemies waiting to fight you. Kill them. Light Corrupted May. That's the end boss. <laughs> There's four of them. The corpse of May, an elder creature of darkness taken by the light beast. And it escaped from the core of the earth. Tail whip. It's a creepy one. Gadush. Accept it. We can survive this. Look at that. We, we're, 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 <coughs> we're fine. Defeated the epic enemy, yes. That's trash. That's... We can make better. Like, look at that. It's alchemy leather and normal leather. That's also trash. That's trash because it's normal the quality. Also normal quality. That's also bad quality because bad items. Like it's legendary, but it's using fucking scaled leather, so it's very bad. That's garbage. Jesus. Uh Molten Club. It's a one-handed club. Pretty good, actually. This one is pretty good. Uh, this is garbage. Actually, Chain Lightning is fun. Chain Lightning is what you basically want. If you know there's gonna be a lot of enemies. But Random Blast is better if you... If you don't know. Because it can... Random Blast will give all the blasts to a single card if there's only one. Chain Lightning will, however, not do it, I think. Unless it does it. I have to look that up, I think, at some point, but right now I don't care about it. Crystal Artifact. This one is decent-ish. Don't use wands. That's trash. And that's good. A good gathering thing, a good club, and a good artifact, and a bunch of high-tier high uh, things. But we're going to lose... Bunnyman definitely dies. Gram Grams might die. She's dying. Uh, Zoslavo is dying. Radomir might die. The fish... The fish people die. That's again a full level ghost. And some whatever. I don't know if it's worth it. Like, it's not worth taking the big hits for it. Half of the things it gave were garbage. The other half we can either make or make better. And the materials that, that it gave... We can gather from surrounding enemies that are not going to be as challenging. So I guess this is literally not for the reward. Like the reward is not the reward. The challenge itself is the reward. Like, if you can beat it without getting fucked. 
But I personally don't care about that kind of stuff. I'm just here to chill. And look at look at some abs and some thick chains that bind. Look at those chains. Oh. Don't you want those chains, Bob? This fucking rat piece of shit. Useless. I'm gonna send this asshole to die, honestly. This is the weakest link right now. Radomir gets some intelligence. Although, you know what I could have done instead of instead of drowning the kids. Thanks for dropping by, Bob. Please don't install more mods. Uh, but yeah, what I could have done instead of drowning the kids, I could have made them both into healers. Don't try. Don't try to not install, because we both know how it will go. <laughs> you will find something that's cool. You will devise a, a new playthrough around it, and you will end up with another 20 to 30 mods. <laughs> but then again, you did install a couple hundred, so... You'll probably have a couple playthroughs worth of uh, entertainment from it. At least I would think so. But yeah, I could have made healers for the cheese, but... I'll try to do that with the elves. I don't know if the elves have healers, but I would imagine they have their own type of healer. I also don't think I can have 100% elven uh, followers. I'll probably have humans. Depends how I can unlock god cards, because I have a lot of god points, so I would be able to just unlock whatever. Um, I will attack these, because this fucking thing is bugged, so I'm just gonna not care. Okay, what they give is not worth it. Although, I got a pristine matter and some spike leather. Spike leather can be crafted into the good stuff. Pristine matter is shit, though, so... Whatever. Still have three more DLCs to go through. Yeah. Although... As I said, Lonesome Road, don't expect a lot from that. But the other two are pretty good. Lord of the Orcs gets some speed on him. Speed is super cool. Alright, so thank you is the smart one, but is it intelligence or wisdom they want? Wisdom, wisdom... And wisdom for this as well, right? There is... There is wisdom. So wisdom is what they want. And cucumbers get strained. Perfect! Holy shit! The befuddlers and the utopians. They will not let us down. I could have probably made the level 16, like, a, this challenge with manual combat. Probably would have gotten a lot better result. Because we don't have the lights, light taken or enlightened may research. So we don't have the extra 15% uh, auto combat result buff. And I also don't have good auto combat results because of the difficulty, so... Manual would definitely be better, but... Ma'am! I already did the, uh, the Gosk thing. I don't care about the rest. Sure, we ran out of, uh... Ran out of random food. So how... 22 per turn. That's amazing. So even if something comes and destroys our sanity, our sanity regen is super hot. And it can be higher still. Get this lady out of here. They will, I don't know, cook. I want to make Igni spikes. Okay.
Because I could spend just, you know, a couple 200, like two, three hundred turns just gathering a bunch of diamonds, then gathering a bunch of mithril. Because both diamonds and mithril have that good spot that I can just gather a crap ton. Actually, it's not mithril. It was, it was obsidian, I think. And there's like three obsidian there, right, right there. So I could do very quick obsidian and myth and uh, diamond gathering. There's also decent bone gathering as well. I could spend a couple hundred turns just doing that. Oh, well, there's gold, but actually there's mithril, decent mithril as well. And just craft the ultimate, ultimate armor and weapon and stuff by. Yeah. I feel like I've done all I wanted to do with this run, so let's just run in there and um, what's the thing that gives us movement speed? Gathering, blessing. Oh, the physical gives us a move speed or a move range. Let's do that. We can actually make two. And they should stack, so... Speed. And to see our livestock. They did well. We are able to eat this winter. And we get a Slavian cock. Your Slavian cock is the envy of all your neighbors. And my cock is not Slavian, but... The neighbors do be looking. They do be looking, yeah. <laughs> when I just hang it down the window and it just dangles. The wind blows it and it's like, whoa. No. <laughs> I, I hate these fucking things. Just kill them. Hey, we finally got the BS research. Seven movement. Look at that. It's actually not a lot. Oh, it doesn't stack. Whatever. Let's go. Oh, beautiful melody. Be fuddler, stand aside and try to join in. Oh, Rusalka, dance with your sisters. Dance. But the only place I haven't been to is these two Alvin fucking places. And you know what? I will not touch those. <laughs> right now we just need to find them Rocky. Ooh, nice. And what do we need to get them Rocky's heart? Yeah, I don't care about the sea mirrors. The arena I might, although I don't really care about that either, because it's probably the sea mirrors, but easier. It is the second arena, but I feel like the sea mirror is still harder, so. Yeah. Brach, brach, brach. Yeah, we fucked up the uh, desired bros. Yeah, we killed it. Yeah, it should have been a spirit fight, I think, to get the thing. Mm, dwarves, no necromancer. Hunt down some rocky in the lands of darkness or the volcanic wastelands. Alright. So, we could do multiple, I guess. Some Rokies. Are you Rokies? They look like goblins. Uh, yep. <laughs> they have cool hats. Got a shaman. Zaz. Goblin chieftain. But they're dead now. Whatever this is, is also dead now. Whatever this is, is also dead now. These things are also dead now. Is it winter? Summer, how the hell? They just all descended upon our little group. We are innocent. Pew, 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 pew. Let's make our way towards the volcanic place. Might be a higher chance of finding what we need. Oh, 
finally craft away. The werewolves. These are people. Look at them. Strong people. Am I friends with the night demons? No. Hmm. I wonder what I could get there if I was friends with them. But I think they didn't let me do quests. I would actually have to hunt down their groups and do the thing. And I'm not gonna do that. It's too late for that shit. Gotta leave something for the next playthrough. I'm definitely gonna do one. Immediately after this, so I guess I'm not going to play Breath Edge yet. <laughs> I initially wanted to like do both of them, like you know, a couple streams of this, then a couple streams of that, and then switch back and forth. But god damn it, the binge is real. Actually, some some of them are right there. Hey, back away. Actually, in this way we don't gain anything, so I don't know how to farm their stuff. Disturbing gossing in the taverns. Apparently the earthbounder under siege from a pirate skellybag. He did not send a call for aid, but then you would not expect them to need it for a time, so it may be worth a visit. No! Fuck him. I'm gonna look at my thing and try to see what the rocky is. Sadly these don't look like they are in alphabetical order. Orc Witch! Whoa! We haven't killed them yet. Ah, Lavarokas. Poludnitsa. Oh, that's the uh, Harvest Demon. Heaven Slave. Pirates. Mroki. Oh, yeah, these fucking things, of course. Great. Wait a minute. He could have killed Grimps, and he would have gi given us thingy. But what's the point? He's he's literally just one person, and we could have killed his cat. Cause remember, the cat was with him. That's fucked up. Molten man. I haven't seen more gnolls since the fucking thingy. So many fucking things. Fucking cradle possums, what the fuck? <laughs> With children. That's nasty. Elder Mroki. Oh yeah, those are the darker ones or the red ones or something. Oh there's the pets. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's not get distracted too much. But, I mean... Art is there, if anyone wants to appreciate it. Okay. Spawn me some fucking rookies so we can get this done. Hey! Are you rookies? Do you... No? Wingby. At least the fish are leveling up. Are you? You're gonna get a dwarf. You're gonna get more line charge. Nice. Good rolls on those fucking fish. Only 63, man. 
Hey guys, do you see any Mrokas around? Uh... Fuck you. Treat your allies or just kill them. Oh. Kind of just killed them. But they liked it, it's fine. I'm just gonna start killing everything in my way. You know, so new stuff starts spawning. Maybe they'll spawn some rockets. It's autumn! There are rats. Oh, the cradle possums. And the rat alone? I'll well, have fun. Apparently the rat is decent. We can keep it. Oh, look, cradle possum. We definitely need the uh, extra 15% uh, combat rolls on the cradle possum. I'm definitely going to grab somebody and research these. You come to join us? No. Die. Look at that, they have life fruit. Ooh, silver heavy armor, that's trash. Lands of Darkness or the Volcanic Wasteland, yeah, so... We're in the right path, please. Halt! Oh, you. You may enter. I don't actually want any of this. Let's despawn these guys. We get there some obsidian. Maybe the Mroki will come to us. Those look like orcs, bees, light. What is the Mroki? Get out of here, light creatures. You stink. Oh, I see some big thing there. It doesn't look like a Mroki. Maybe the uh, Goblin Lands have a higher chance to spawn them. Because they look like shadow creatures, you know. Look like the Reaper Man. Oh, oh yeah, I keep forgetting this is an option. You can actually pre-plan whether you want to attack them. I only look at the numbers, I'm like, I see the numbers, I can kind of tell what they have. Because the, the three strongest characters are the ones that show, right? You know. They have a rider. That's pretty cool, I want a rider too. Waste Grinder. Orc together is strong but stupid. Beautiful and attractive. Okay, that that needs to fucking stop. Everybody's strong and beautiful. Silk maker. Also, there needs to be a button to auto trash everything. Just doing it one by one is kind of annoying. In before there's a button and they're just blind. <laughs> Trolls, kill them. Play narration group participating groups. Yeah. Cauldron expedition. Cauldron. Wait, wasn't Cauldron the name of one of the craftsmen from the uh, Morrowind run? Why is this? Why are they called Cauldron? I have no idea. Or maybe it's referring to us being a melting pot of all the species and races and shit. Why have we called them? Oh well, doesn't matter. This look like orcs again. Shit. Or maybe... 
Maybe since I did the, uh, the other Moors thing. Although I did fuck it up and it said that I need to find another way. But this should still be active. It should spawn the fucking things for me. There we are. I track down a group of Moroki. Perhaps you can harvest their hearts for the Necromancer. Probably the spirit, right? You defeat the Moroki. And this time, nice. you are able to harvest a heart and store it in a bone casing given to you by the Necromancer. You can now head to the Red Cave and find your way into the chamber where the Light Beast awaits. Yes, and we can bind the, uh, we can link the fire or uh, do whatever the Elden Ring person does at the end of the Elden Ring. Bind the Ring of the Eldens. Repair the ring. Oh, more speed. He doesn't need more speed. He's gonna get some intelligence. He does have headbutt, so... That's good. You need... Strength for health. But screw that. Damage is all we need. Damage and speed. Yeah. Now we can teleport to the Elden Ring. What is this? Come on, leave us alone, we're teleporting. Let us walk the bridge. Okay. Now. Take 17 turns of food, or types of food. You take some wood, take a bunch of this. Get the food. Uh, 16, 17 turns, good. Uh, none of these are needed, these are good enough. See they'll run it. I kinda wanna see what this is, because it wasn't here before. The dead godzons gemstones lead you to a small gate cave near your village. You always assumed it was empty, but you see fresh signs of happy Oh, this is the fucking cow sucker. Yeah 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 yeah, just kill her. I had enough of her constantly sending shit at us. Please, don't kill me, I was just trying to get some things. Kill her because she endangered your village and stole from you. That's the end of that. <clears throat> I mean, that was the third time she fucking did the, the cow suckling. Thank you is not the strain, strained one. Thank you is the wisdom one, right? Wisdom, 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 wisdom. Wisdom. Oh. So now it, it swapped them, sadly, if we get 0.5 less, so now it's not optimal, it's suboptimal, which goes with line of the stream, which is subpar, so it's in fact still perfect. It's actually more perfect than it was before. Oh shit! Ooh! The ugly orc and Zloslava made a child. Fearbringer! I mean, based on her parents, or his parents, or its parents. Yeah. Bring the fear. You see, it's an orc, it's not a half breed. And that's what I don't like. So, whenever someone has a child, like a race or species has a child with a fucking human. They don't get the fucking half, half breed tag. They just become a full fledged orc, or a human, with a with a dwarf tag, which is weird. Little child. Well, um, Fearbringer. 
Oh, <laughs> oh my god, they have a fucking marble or, or, or sun, sandstone ball. They're ready to kill. That's since they are an orc. They can just walk this alone. They fear nothing. They're going to have a big cock too. A big Slavian cock. I don't want any of these on the child, but they'll probably become another gatherer. I don't care at this point. They are probably not going to grow up. I would imagine I'll be dying 20 turns. I kind of want to kill the Red Ridge bandits. Just to kill all the Slavians. Oh, these are just some demons. Ah! Welcome. Come and see how we have changed since our bandit days. We may not be as rich. I can't kill him. Welcome. Come and see. Well, that sucks. You get back to the Red Cave. What do you open? You enter the Red Cave. The alchemist looks up from his many scrolls and vials. Found some answers for us? Yes, I, do I didn't want to talk to the dwarf because the dwarf is the one we don't care about because that's the guy from the prison. He can fuck off. Damn, you got a new heart made by a sorcerer from the last remaining giants. No. It's not what I want. That's the prisoner guy. What? You get back to the Red Cave. You see the smith standing outside the Red Cave. He has his smithing hammer and several men are watching him. No. I'm definitely not doing that. I want the I want the necromancer orc, man. What the fuck? Where is he? He said he would be here. Track down a group of Rocky, you get the heart. You can go to the Red Cave, meet the Necromancer, and find your way into the chamber where the Light Beast awaits. You get back to the Red Cave. Well, I guess fuck me. You enter the Red... I see. Oh, it is the one. Said. Okay, never mind. Yes, I read somewhere that they were indeed giants once. Still. He looks at you for a moment, then nods. You are the champions. It is and always will be your choice. I have found the entrance to the Earth Cave where you must place the heart. Good luck. Although didn't we already? Oh no! Killing the elves. The elves didn't have the uh, the heart. You know the sacred grove or whatever. Because the other elf had the heart, but we killed her way before. Uh, yeah. And I guess the the prisoner dwarf didn't make us the heart yet because he needs the blood. Okay, so this was our only heart so far. It was just kind of because uh, made by a sorcerer from the last remaining giants. Unless, m oh wait, the Mroki are giants, right? But they got twisted by the shadows. Never mind. I, I misinterpreted this. I thought it was the uh, prisoner dude who made the heart from the uh, thingies, but then, but then he wasn't because he needs the blood. But, you know what? Never mind. This is what I wanted. Let's go. <laughs> Where is it? It's over there. Can I talk to these? Welcome. Okay. Gonna wait. Ooh, look at that wind, people. That quest is bugged. So I'm just gonna kill him. Kill everybody. Because I'm upset. I could have already had, like, a wind person. Maybe, actually, maybe it's not bugged. Maybe I need positive refutation with forest demons. 
before it works. When people, when people, look the wind. The wind died. Why are you here? You should be sleeping. Look like wind, act like people. We are the crabs. I'm telling you. Did you receive the good news from mother? Yes, good. We celebrated by... I, I, I gave pizza to everybody. Of, obviously I gave an extra for myself, because... I'm a big boy. <clears throat> Although I haven't eaten all of them. Kids? What kids? Pizza. Gave pizza to everybody. Gifts? No. Crabs. See? He's a crab person. I don't know what, what you're saying. <laughs> what? Pizza, yes. Food! Is the audio shit again? We had some problems with the audio today. No, it's not. Well, the audio is not shit. No, it's not? Good. I guess you're just fucking deaf. <clears throat> you find the cave where the Earth's chest lies, and it is much brighter than you expected. The dazzling shine blinds you at first, and even after a time, you still feel dizzy from it. When you enter the final chamber, you see the torn corpse of Ismay, animated by living rays of pulsating light energy, brighter than any <laughs> light bringer you've seen so far. What brings you to these parts of the internet? That's me. Look up. Look around for the necromancer. You see him approach. Cool. From the shadows, the necromancer comes out with several minions. Good. You kept your cool, and now we can right many wrongs and have a world that is ours, not one dictated by old laws. Let us face this light beast together. Hey, we got him. Shitty poisoned us. Shitty summon on living. Level one. He's level one, and he wants to join us during the fight. He's got no items. He's got. He's got the low essence legendary, which is poopy. He's got some armor, but it's. Physical armor, but he's geared for a spiritual fight. Tell me the item he has is at least two-handed. It should be, actually, because it has the thing. But that's okay. Mystical sign. Oh, that's his uh, ring. Magic user. Rare creature indeed. Most orc males with magic are killed. Perhaps his prof profession explains that? He's a necromancer. Is a. Uh, is the orcish Johnny Depp? What is this game? The A2. It's pretty fun. It's it's super fun. It's basically like a turn-based, uh, like, you know, text game. Most of the time, it's text-based, but you also want to survive. You have your people. This is the very end of the main mission. So, as you come closer, you hear waves of voices. I'll tell you after. Thousands, perhaps. But they all speak in unnerving unison. One leads them and turns to you. Come, join, be at ease. Cleansed from darkness for good. We will stay till the end of days. Peace, tranquility, come. <laughs> Peace, tranquility, and come. Well, that's not my type of future. But, <clears throat> you know, to each their own. <laughs> so, uh... Unnerving unison. <laughs> yeah, it's a hive mind. You know, nobody wants to lose their individualism, so they fear the unison. The funny thing is, the game's engine is unity, so, you know, unnerving unity. Anyways, uh, turmoil and magic is what we are. Those strains from the heart of darkness you carry, make this light cower before you, make it think you aim to trap it again, and threaten destruction if it does not yield. Kind of weird how thermal and magic is what we are, which is red and purple most of the time. But the yellow option is the thermal and magic. Hmm. Well, I guess we have to do that. Combat is, is card. Card games. 
Is this Cult of the Lamb soundtrack? Yes. It's the end of the soundtrack. Let's go back to something there. There. Oh, whoops. I've been listening to the uh, Lamp soundtrack, yes. <laughs> For days now. It fits so well, this game. It, it fits, fits well. There's a dead dragon. But yeah, I'm not going to show you the manual combat, because this one would take a little time. But it's basically cards. You might know what Gwent is, you know, the Witcher card game? It's similar to that. It's better than that, but... We... We feel your dark power. We cannot allow light to perish. We will surrender to the prison once more. The light releases the carcass of the Zmei host and seeps into the hole it came from without realizing its impending doom. <laughs> Thank you was part of the fight, hey! It releases the carcass, so we tricked it. Bowing thanks and say they made the right, to right choice. The necromancer urges you to place the heart of darkness onto a carved pedestal that resembles a huge ribcage. Sure. As the ribcage closes, hmm. the dark heart begins to pump its corrupted blood through black veins that now cover the entire cave. The rhythm is uneven and rushed. The alchemist cries out. What? Why? Why choose darkness? I promised I would follow you, but now my job is done. <laughs> I leave you to your dark work and new friends. <laughs> he shoots a dirty look towards the necromancer and departs. Nice, fuck him. I mean, darkness is what we... Like, our deity is Zoria, so... We need to do the darkness. You don't understand. This is who we are. It's role play. That's the necromancer, what happens now. Who can say for sure? <laughs> With darkness comes change and uncertainty, but the light bringers should suffer now, and in time the shattering should cease. That was our goal, yes. So, I have an elf slave. His name is Filth. Uh, actually, her name is Filth. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, I have an elven slave, because I... I don't even know how I got her. Uh, but yeah, they are slave. They are a beautiful, attractive slave. Everybody is beautiful and attractive. I think it bugged out because almost every character gets these tags and they are not supposed to be that common. Anyways. And the elves are made of light. And I chose the darkness uh, ending. And that's why they got a curse. <laughs> because, because the light creatures are not suffering. <laughs> they got cursed. Oh, by the way, I killed all the elves. I killed them. So the green... Actually, not necessarily all of them, because I never visited these two islands. So they might still have a city or something, but on this part of the uh, the world, I killed all the owls. Uh, they have low sanity. They have good morale. They, had, they have outstanding morale. We treat our slaves right. Uh, slave. <laughs> That's their race, by the way. They are a slave race. Anyways, uh... Don't worry, the next playthrough I'm gonna do is going to be elves. So I'm going to go do a 180. But yeah, so I... My god... Is the uh, turmoil and mysticism. And uh, orcs are basically the favored race with them, so... And orcs and elves don't mix. It's not like in Heroes, when you play with death, everyone else has low morale. No. Uh, morale is basically just, uh, it's determined by how many food varieties you have. Um, there's my group. So we have a bunch of different food. And there's the morale. So it does, uh, you can have, like, I have an orc, like a pirate orc, they are mutated and they live on the water. I have humans. I have water demons, the elf slave, I have this asshole, supposedly a human, but he doesn't really look like one, he's like a dwarf. I have a rat, he's Italian, uh, he's a tsar rat, he's an Italian-Russian tsar rat. Uh, oh yeah, I called them cucumber, they were, uh, so they, they were found in a, uh, a cabbage patch, and they were a human child. But I took them to my water demon allies, and then I drowned the child, 
to transform them into a water demon. And, and that's why I call them cucumber, because they are sea cucumber now. They were a cabbage, and now they are a cucumber. Anyways, that's the lore behind this guy. They had to die to become this. I have an orc. But it looks like the orcs from Lord of the Rings. That's why they are Lord of the Rings orc. Um, I have humans. I have a human that turned half water demon. Um, I have a half orc, half human. I have a water demon again, but this one is female. It's a Osaka. Um, what else? There's another one. They are called Thank You because they wanted to be drowned and they were. So they are actually half dwarf and half water demon. <laughs> I have a witch. I used to have ghosts and uh, unliving rats. Yeah, Sus Needler because uh, the name was the Needler because he was a quest. The Needler and the Dragon or whatever, the Vavel Dragon. And they are sus because we worship Zoria, who is turmoil and magic, and mostly darkness. But this guy, I can't show you his uh, portrait, but he has a necklace that has a Swarog's symbol on it, and Swarog is the light guy. And that's why he's sus, because he's spreading the light. He's basically a missionary, although he's an inventor. He's pretty good, but yeah. Anyways, stay with me, uh, Orlando Bloom or Johnny Depp or whoever I call him. <laughs> yes, I shall. For yes. you are interesting. I have an acromancer orc. So yeah, the elves don't like me. And oh yeah, the dwarves are also made of light, so they are also cursed now. I have a couple dwarves as well. Actually, I have one dwarf. So there's Lupus Den, that's my settlement. So I have Death Lover, who's a... A laborer. They have a serpent because they are cool. I have Fearbringer. These are automatically generated names. I didn't do this. They have a cock. Uh, that's an orc. Full-fledged orc. Yeah. I have a ghost. Ghost of Blubber 3. Because Blubber was our house demon. But they got turned into a ghost. They are a wraith. Um... You have an old woman who had like five children and I think four of them died. You have a berserker, Karina. She's half orc, half human and half bear. So she's 150% and she has a pet ghost. There's another pet ghost. And this one is better, but I don't care. I have Law. This is also automatically generated. Orlando Bloom. If you're in Game of Thrones instead of Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Big Bear Man. This is a goblin. Oh, uh, Karina. Yeah. She's kind of a Big Bear Man. <laughs> uh, I think this guy is just human. Yeah. We have a rat. Rat of War. This rat used to be a fat rat, but through an event, like a quest chain, they evolved into a humanoid rat. So they are Rat of War. They completely suck. They are okay in mid-game, but uh, during end-game they suck, so I took all their clothes away and I'm not using them anymore. They are red, they can bite, and they can show off. And they can only use one-handed weapons, because they are stupid. I have, a, I have a dwarf that looks like a pig, but they are just a dwarf. And they should have a curse now, but they don't have a curse. So that kind of sucks, because they have got cursed, because there is no light now anymore. Oh well. I don't like the dwarves because their racial trait is that they have less movement speed. And that's fucking annoying, so... <laughs> they can suck it. Um... Oh yeah, also, there is a memorial ground. Hagrid. I could name him Hagrid. So, Muslove... He didn't actually die. I'll tell you what happened to Muslove. So... Oh, there's Filth, by the way. <laughs> they have a wolf. They have clothes. We treat them right. There's Cucumber. Uh, there's Bunny Man. So Bunny Man had a quest. It's basically the Monty Python bunny. And we had to get the Monty Python bunny back to him. There's a bunch of Monty Python references in this game. It's, it's crazy. At least four. Uh, <laughs> they have the bunny. That's why they're called Bunny Man. 
There's Anchor, he's the mutant orc. They're the pirate orcs. They have a crab. And very big grippers. Look at them. Look at them feet. Um, there's Gram Grams. He looks like a... Like a garden gnome, but he's a human, apparently. He also has a ghost. There's the Tsar Rat. Herbert. That was his actual name. Um, he's pretty good. He has a turtle. There's the, there's the Lord of the Rings orc. <laughs> he's... Oh yeah, he's not a half-breed. But he's beautiful and attractive, of course. So, Maslav turned into Mislav the Bandit once he grew up. And this man made, like, as many kids as ears on his chest, basically. He had, like, eight kids, four of them with Hemvina from the village. This man is prolific as fuck. This is my chosen. Basically, the, uh... Oh, they have a curse. The, the character who's uh, chosen by the gods. If they die, it's game over. And they did die once, but I got a second chance because I could resurrect them. There is Ordal Don Bloom. We don't care about him because it's the end of the game. But he's a necromancer. Which is cool. Um, Patula is just a hunter. Radomir is just a half orc, half human. Nothing crazy. As the water demon, they have a beetle. Snowid is a human. He's, the, he's one of the child of uh, Mislove. As Sussnidler, they have a very ugly cat. <laughs> As thank you, they have a very ugly rabid demon. And they are also... Oh yeah, they are the half demon, half org. We have a human. He's a healer. And he has cyanide pills. He literally fights with cyanide pills. He, give them, he gives them to the enemy. And they die. Because they, ate it, they eat it. He's, he's a Russian spy. And we have our witch. And they have a cat. Uh, so, basically, let me tell you who's the child. So, Zloslava was a cursed child. Cat with human face. Yeah, it's very ugly. It's like from fucking Alice Wonderland. So, Zloslava was a cursed child. We killed her pa parents and the entire village she was in. And then we took her in. And she became our witch. That's legit the quest line. This guy is just a dude. You know what Thank You was? Thank You was a half breed. And he wanted to drown. And we drowned him to turn him into an actual half breed. And now that their name is Thank You. Because that's that was the first word they said when they emerged from the water. That's personal lore. That's just role playing. Looks like the fishman in Hellboy. Because he is. I mean, the Hellboy Fishman is probably uh, a fucking befuddler, anyways. I would imagine. This guy was the uh, quest guy. Um, Snowbit is the child of Miss Love. Rusalka was. I don't know why or how he how he got her. I think we just recruited her from the demons. Radomir is. I don't know if he's the child of Miss Love. But he might be. Mislav may have had sex with uh, Death Lover and made Radomir. But Petula is a child of Mislav. Um, Cucumber was a foundling. Most of the children of Mislav are dead. So. Uh, uh. Lubovid is, I think, the child of Mislav. And we had a we had these guys. This guy, as soon as I recruited him, he died. But before he died, he made love to Anuska. And they made a child. The child did not survive long. Actually, they didn't survive long because they were turned into a ghost. Change design when they grow up? Yes. They do. Like, you see. Miss Love was a child when they were a child, obviously, and when they grew up, they they change uh, icons or not icons, portraits, based on what their class is. Like you see this little orc fearbringer, they're an orc child. So once they grow up, they could become uh, like gatherers, craftsmen, warriors, uh, like I don't know what else, what other classes I can make them be. 
it's based on their stats. And uh, based on the class, they have uh, portraits assigned to them. Um, but yeah, so... Um, this is where my Chosen died. So, Dalabora was a child of Mislav. Stepan was a child of Mislav. Sibora was a child of Mislav. <laughs> Bohumila was not. Bohumila was the uh, the one from I'm Fucking Dead and Anuska. But at the longest time, I thought Bohumila was also a child. And I thought that legitimate res rat was actually incest. Because uh, Mislav and the ghost made the, uh, the rat. And for the longest time, I thought that she was also the child of Mislav. But there's no incest in this game, so I, f I actually figured out she was half water demon, and that's why I realized that she was from I'm fucking dead. Um. However, another one was a child of Mislove. As well, I think legitimate threat was the child of Mislove. I don't know. He had like seven kids. Most of them died. It's it's basically that. But yeah, the game basically revolves around your chosen and their group of people. And there are main storyline. The main storyline is the Lightbringer one. I just finished it. So it's not here anymore. And there's a secondary storyline, which is the uh, the water stuff. But basically you travel around, try to gather things, craft stuff so you don't die. You can also create a settlement where you can make buildings. To give you various bonuses. You can craft things, gather things. There's a child. You should send the child to gather some some berries, sure. It's essentially like a, a turn-based survival game, survival management game. Miss Love got around, yes, he did. He fucked anything that moved. He actually did. Only only two people got married outside of Anuska and I'm fucking dead. And I think they are also dead, so... Whoever got married died, basically. But yeah, uh... And there's a lot of lore, like... A lot of reading. The main quests are usually voice acted. And you know, it's turn-based. And it's... It's not the easiest thing. Like, you see, random events happen. So this this event is currently in the uh, the village, and then you can based on what you have, like the bracketed stuff. These are special uh, lines because we have high enough wisdom on somebody. Like this is the wisdom, for example, Hamvina has twenty. I think that's the highest, but high enough that you know hidden options become available, and you read what's happening. There's a it's basically Slavic mythology, which is pretty fun, I guess. It's not as fun as uh, Nordic mythology, but it's fun enough. And you can just do whatever. It's a Bannock, a house demon. I'm gonna allow the Bannock. The Bannock was happy in our bathhouse, so it gave us some, some faith restoration. And also some physical blessing. And there's an orc burial ground, so my, our other group noticed that, and we look at it. There's some undead, we're just gonna kill the undead. So there's the uh, the actual combat. They are they have interesting monsters, the Slavs? Yes. There's a lot of demons and uh, monsters. I'm gonna actually... fuck. Uh, hold on. La -dee -da. So the combat can get pretty intricate. But there is auto combat option because if you if you manually combat everything, it can take a long time. Like a, I've been doing this run for like I don't know forty hours, and I mostly done every combat automatically because forty hours would have been like fifty at least if I did everything manually. Blah blah. blah. Put the orc guy out. Here. And I have one more point. 
I can put this guy out as well. Doesn't matter. We're gonna win this easily. Like, this is not a difficult fight. I just wanted to show what it usually is. And there's the fight phase. Everybody does what they do. Then, Anyways, and then you get your loot. But yeah, so basically... Okay, once the turn stops... Oh, I won! You're called upon the Chosen of the Divine and tasked with examining the rising threat of the Lightbringers. You answered the call and defeated the Light Beast who sought to destroy all darkness and thus frees the world in a state of eternal stagnation. With the beast safely returned to the Divine Prison, the shattering of the land should cease and in time the world may regain its balance. You prove to be the true hero of Thea and the rightful Chosen to the Cosmic Tree Pantheon once more. By defeating Devious Gosk and putting an end... Oh yeah, that's the secondary main mission. Uh, and to his plotting, you ensure that the lands of the, your gods are safe. Yes, look at them. Humans, elves, which is inaccurate because we killed them, so these don't exist. Orcs, this, this is a very ugly orc. And you get your score. And you can... It has roguelite elements, you play 40 hours, not in one sitting, obviously. Why you kill the elves? It's role-playing! Also, it's a running joke with my streams that if I have a game that has elves in it, I, I kill the elves. It, it started with The Witcher 1. Because, you know, you can choose whether you side with the elves and dwarves or the humans, and I sided with, the, uh, with Siegfried, obviously. And since then, it's been a running joke that I uh, I hate the elves. But currently, the hating the elves actually made sense. Keep playing. Because, so there's my god, Zoria, the uh, muscle mummy, obviously. And she holds the chains that bind Samargul. It's basically very similar. Like, I, I, I noticed that Slavic mythology is very similar to the Nordic mythology. Like, the Perun is basically like Thor, I think. Or is it Swarog? I think, actually, Perun is like uh, Odin and Swarog is Thor, I think. Uh, uh, Zoria, who's holding the chain that binds the uh, giant wolf. You know, giant wolf, again, it's like Loki's kid, whatever its name is. Uh, but anyways, our domain is magic and turmoil. And we are more darkness than light. And the elves are light creatures, so it kind of was in character to hate the elves. Also, orcs hate the elves, especially the pirate orcs, and I do have pirate orcs with me. I have one, and they they frequently uh, keep elf slaves, so it makes sense. Also, the elf slave has a skill, lifetime servant, which is you are broken and your only hope is to serve until you die. When this card enters the battlefield, it decreases the delay of a random ally and increases their combat attributes, uh, there's some typo, at the cost of 25% of the caster's current health. They are literally killing themselves to buff the, uh, the others, that's just Christianity. <laughs> I mean, we don't pretend to be the light people. We are, we are perfectly comfortable being the darkness, you know, I mean... Christianity tries to sell you on the notion that they are the good guys. There's no good guys in this, though. The elves also are assholes, by the way. There are also shadow elves who are tainted by the shadow, and I did leave them alive. They, they live somewhere here, I think. There are also goblins, but what I wanted to show is the... the factions. So, there are a bunch of different demons. Also, Ur, the dwarves, orcs... Goblins, the Lightbringers, you can actually ally with the Lightbringers, you know, you can also play as the Elves, there are Forest Demons, uh, Werewolves and Vampires, the Water Demons, we love them, Ice Demons, I wanted to love them but I fucked up, but it can always be fixed. There's Beasts, like giant bees and, and shit, and other monsters, but there's the Codex, so, like, you got your Holex, you got your... Whatever the fuck, oh yeah, that's the, the light guy. There's the befuddlers, you know, the water people. Um, the Strigas, obviously, the vampires. Usaka's more water demons. Uh, Karakanja, whatever the fuck that is, some Slavic asshole. It looks like a hobgoblin. Um, 
like unliving spiders. There's you know your 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 wise ones, the Zerkas, the humans. There's the BS, you know, from Witcher, the fucking ghost dogs. Whatever the fuck this is, some kind of troll. <laughs> Month trolls. Paludnesses, which are the uh, field demons. I also know these from the Witcher. Uh, oh yeah, that's the Grams. Whatever this is. Ice demons, more. So there's a lot of Slavic ro lore in this game. They can actually learn some. Yeah, the art is pretty good. The art... The art is good. Like... There's the, uh, there's Father Frost. Um... Cradle Possum with kids in his back. <laughs> there's the House Demon, the Shack. The Lashes, you know, the three ants. Usually, or, or most of them are your run-of-the-mill mythical creatures, but with Slavic names, because, you know, all, all people had their own, you know, science fiction and... Not science, uh, tits also. Not science fiction, but, uh, what is it? The other thing. Fantasy, or whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah. Like, Striga Mistress with more tits. Which is weird, because it looks like they have, you know, boob jobs. Which is... I don't know, like, we have, have these things. Some forest demon. Who knows what it is. We have Vihurs, there's the wind people. Actually, these are the tiny wind people. Jurata, which is even more... Things. We have predator fish. <coughs> so there's... Yeah, there's the Zmei. There's unliving dragons as well, and then a bunch of dragons, but... But I haven't really seen them. There's the actual light beast. But we didn't get the research for it, sadly. Dwarf. Bean bees. And I think these are not even all the things. Light six siren. Yeah, more harpies, basically. But they are called sirens. You know? So you got your things. Also, the Tzitlika. These are basically mermaids. But they are more hardcore than mermaids, obviously. No sugar coating. It's basically a mythology, yes. It's basically the uh, you know the difference between your uh, your grim grim tales, you know, the OG grim tales that were kind of hardcore, and then the watered down versions for the American audiences. This is the uh, the hardcore mythology where everything wants to kill kids. Or eat them or steal them. We also stole kids. I mean, both Anchor uh, and Death Lover were, were. They are actually siblings, and we killed both of their parents, and then then we just stole them. I also had a gnoll, like a hy hyena human hybrid. I killed their people, and then I stole the kids. Uh, where is he? He died now. There he is, Seeker. He used to be our, our uh, trapper, but he died. So, this game is kind of brutal at some point, at, at certain points. There are multiple play, uh, events where you can sacrifice ch kids to gain something. I mean, when my uh, Chosen died, I sacrificed Blubber 1 and Dalebora to revive my Chosen. That was my one freebie. So again, we sacrifice a child. This this is a very good game. Like <laughs> you don't understand. This game is dark. Uh yeah, research I don't care about research anymore. It's it's pretty fun. But yeah, I This is the end of the run. I did all the main quests, well both both of the main quests. So we're actually going to do the game over stuff. And there are also multiple gods uh, from your pantheon. I'm gonna get 50 god points. Gram Grams was the strongest, which I understand, because he was he was a beast. It shows you your best armors, but you can't actually click on them to see the information on them, which kind of sucks. Also unlocked one of the pantheon gods, but I already had them unlocked. 
so I don't know why they show. But yeah, uh, also there was a red update, like a week ago. But that's not the reason why I started playing this again. <clears throat> but that's that's one reason to keep playing because they added a bunch of the red faction, like the Tsar red and the War red that I showed. They're basically new. There's a full red faction now, and you can have a bunch of reds, a bunch of different reds. But yeah, when you do a new game, you get to choose your Pantheon gods. And these are also like Slavic people. Like there is Swarog. Uh, there's the Death God. Mokosh is your uh, Gaia kind of thing. Or not Gaia. Uh, who's the... <sighs> who's the wife of... I don't know. It's basically your, 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 you know, family and life and shit. The mother, you know, it's basically the same as other mythologies where, you know, you've got your dudes. Got your water man. Zoria, obviously, which is the more fighting oriented thing. There's the science goblin. Kinda sucks. You got your love, love and peace. You got your darkness for the werewolves. Ports. Is lower for them all, and they have their unique uh, get god quest as well. So it's it's not just all oh, different stats, you know, and then maybe different uh, composition of units are better favored. They have their unique uh, things, and during the main quest line also you get uh, different outcomes. Because for example, if I was playing with uh, like Swarog, Swarog will probably not allow me to choose the darkness as the. Uh, the outcome of the main quest line. But it might be easier to ally with the light. Because in the first game, the, the main enemy was the darkness. Because this is the second game. And in this one, the enemy is the light. Because the light is shattering the land. And in the first game, the darkness was basically engul engulfing the planet. And killing everyone. But yeah, it had different gods as well. I'm gonna do Ziavana next with elves because she's got harmony and nature, and that's basically what elves are. And a lot of gathering. Animals, elves, and forest demons you control have main attribute bonus. Oh so yeah, forest demons, beasts. It's gonna be a a big hippie town. <laughs> There's also like difficulty you can you can tailor the difficulty. To a lot of things even a normal difficulty the the beginning can be really l rough like if you lose a couple of people you can get set back by like a couple hours and that kind of sucks and i almost quit on this uh, latest run but i'm glad i didn't because in the in the beginning i almost lost <laughs> like in like a uh, turn 100 i almost lost but then i gained a bunch of ghosts and witches and then you kind of bounced back it's a complex game yeah, but it, it you can take it slow. As I said, it's turn-based, so there's literally no rush. Plus, with the option with very uh, wide difficulty op options, you can make it, you know, as difficult or easy as you want it. You know, so you can really uh, dial in the comfortable uh, difficulty level you want, which is pretty good. I like when games have very detailed difficulty things because you can just do whatever like if you feel like doing a quick run you can just do it feel like having your butt clenched all the time you can do that too <laughs> uh plus yeah you can take your time like you can take your time sit in your little settlement craft a bunch of stuff you still get events uh, so so it still gives you something to read and uh, new things to uh, experience you can also choose not to make a settlement and live no, uh, as a nomadic uh, group. And that's what I'm tr gonna try to do with the elves. Uh, which is probably going to be very bad. <laughs> you can't kill the elves? No, I'm going to be the elves next time. Which, I mean, we can... So, when you start, you can uh, choose your thing, actually. Let's restart the uh, Cult of the Lamp. OST, because it's just fun. So you have a uh, character and bonus cards. And if you go, if I go back 
Like I can... Let's put it to 8 plus 2. I normally do 7, because 8 plus 2 is pretty overpowered. Plus, I think the plus 3 characters are humans. I don't want humans. I want elves. So, yeah. So you have your, your card limit, your character limit, and also what type of cards you can put here. So these are neutral cards. You can put whatever here that's neutral. And in these ones you need nature and you need harmony. So, for example... Um, you can unlock a royal snake, an elf child. So the god points I uh, I got in the previous run, that's the roguelite system. I can use them to unlock cards that I can use from for subsequent playthroughs. Young elf druid. Oh, I can have an elf slave. I'm gonna unlock the elf slave. Elf druid. And the actually the elf child I'm not going to unlock because I can only have one. One guy. And I can't have both the slave and the druid because they are 8 points. Kinda sucks. But I could do this. And then I have 2 points left. With which I could be like, ah, oh, I would like to have a hunter. I put a hunter here. And I can get some bonuses here, where I could get some, uh, like, start with some extra jewelry, some food, gathering tools. There's also more stuff to unlock here, but I don't really care. Um, seasoned followers and the experience. do this and then we can just start a run so the hunter is sadly a human but I can make my alpha chosen and I can just name them they are not filth so it's a banished druid look at the art on this one look at this spectacular so we could have Multiple arts or people. This bunny man. Then there's also different words. So islands were normally the uh, the only thing I think, but they added Pangea. Or maybe this was all always always there. I'm not sure. But I really enjoyed the Pangea. That was the last run. But I think. Actually, I want to do Pangea, because with the sea update, the waters are pretty fucking dangerous until you're prepared, so I feel like Pangea is actually safer. Let's just roll a small Pangea, and then you can just load in, and you basically start the game. Sadly, I can't... I think there's mods, because uh, in Steam Workshop, well, you can hello. basically mod the shit out of the game. And there might be mods that let you start with fully customizable uh, races. But yeah, I have a human, sadly. But I do have an elf. They have their elf stats and stuff. It's a little more difficult to focus on a certain faction in this game. In the first game, uh, certain buildings, like if you built a, uh, like a... A house out of elven wood that attracted elves, so you had a higher chance of getting elves new, as new recruits. In this game, you have to make friends with the elves. And even then, you can only recruit, like, maximum two people. So you have to get lucky with the rolls. Then again, we have a dude. And we have a not-so-dude. So they might be able to make half-breed elf children. That's one way. That's probably the uh, the most surefire way to get more elves. So I actually don't know how I'm going to have a bunch of elves. <laughs> because it's really not guaranteed. You have to do a lot of elf quests, I guess, and maybe steal kids. I mean, that's, a, that's an easy way. Also, I just realized that this motherfucker cannot wear armor. 
So the elf playthrough is going to be difficult, but I'm not going to do it now. Because I also don't want to start in the winter with it. Plus I would have to beeline it to the elven land. But I cannot walk through here, so I have to sail. So yeah. The first couple hundred turns are always very touch and go. But after that, it, it kind of eases up a little bit. Yeah. Anyways, it's a good game, but it, it's made with the Unity engine, so it's it has very shit optimization, sadly. And, and basically no uh, settings for graphics. Like, actually you do have... I have it on the absolute lowest, because it seems big for Unity. No, Unity is just bad. It's not actually a big game. I mean, most of it is just still images. And I mean, the events, you can actually just go into the events. And you can edit every single in-game event. It's right here. You can do whatever the fuck you want with it. Although, good luck figuring out what the hell this is. <laughs> it's a fucking, like, what is this called? The flowchart or whatever? I don't know. It's... It's insanity-inducing if you look at it too much. But every single event in the game you can you can just do. Also Halloween is turned off by default, because it's not Halloween, but I could enable it. Whatever. So actually I could add a new module. Uh or Alvin Babies. I we have a new module, where is it? Or Alvin Babies. You go into this module. Add an event. Oh. Alvin Kids. Then I could just go into this event. And if I figure out how to do this, I could actually make an event that guarantees elf kids spawn in my uh, group. And that might be a good way to get elf kids. But I have no fucking clue. So expedition would be the thing. Only usable once? No. It's a generic event. New output. I have no idea what, what this what this is. You can have tags or tag prerequisites. Logic editor. Like you can just, you know, find out what the hell. So I'm sure if I spend a couple hours on this I can make that, but would that be balanced? Probably not. Problem babies. But yeah, that's one way to uh, make sure that you can play with the uh, faction you want to. Uh, save and I'm sure. You can also probably delete all the... All the events and mo uh, modules. <laughs> and have an empty game. <laughs> <laughs> Which, I mean, why would you do that? Just do Unity being like barren breakfast? Yeah, true. But I mean, how big is this game? Um, oh, I mean, it's six and a half gigabytes. I don't know how big barren breakfast is. Unity is just bad. It's bad. <laughs> I read the forums that a lot of people have problems with it, eating a lot of, uh, especially uh, GPU resources. So right now it's only 20%, but if I put this to like, uh, you know, 60 FPS, it will triple or some shit. It's, it's not, it's not good. I don't, I don't like it. But, yeah. Regardless of the bad engine, it's a very good game and I recommend. Both the first and the second one. The first is a lot slower, uh, not, not slower, shorter. I would say the first is better paced than this one. Plus you can have more L's in that. <laughs> it's easier to get L's in that. In this one it's, it's, it's very random. Most of the time you will probably end up with a melting pot. Like you will have humans, demons, undead, orcs, rats now. Elves, dwarves, goblins, whatever, you know, whatever you find and pick up. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I don't know. 
what else? I don't want to start a new run. It's been like, what, four and a half hours anyways. I finally finished one run on the successfully. So I'll probably not do more Zoria runs. I did a failed Morovit run and I fucked up a Triglav run. Even though Triglav is my boy. Because look at this, Triglav has turmoil, light and nature. Like he's... He can be elves and orcs. He can bring them together. And then kill people. And his passive is everybody gets experience, just passively. So you can literally just sit around and still advance. Not much, 0 0.4 is bad. I do have a mod that uh, speeds up the uh, the speed at which we level up. Because the vanilla level up gets really, really grindy after like level 20. The maximum level for characters I think is 40. And even with like what? How long did this take? So this is 40, 4 hours, 4 and a half hours. Let's say at 4 hours today, right? And... Let me check the uh, the collections. It will show me how how much I played on that one run. Just one run only. Let's see, that's where I started the Zoria run. 10, 11, 12, 17, 23, 27, 28, plus this 4. Over 30 hours on one run. And none of my characters reached level 40. And I have the uh, the faster level up, which actually speeds it up significantly, especially early game. So yeah, um, I feel like this is a kind of a mandatory thing, cause yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you know where to find me if you want to talk more, sister. But I'm going to finish this now. Tomorrow I'll I'll start the Alvin playthrough. Yes. Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll proceed to eat some late night pizza, because I only ate some today. Anyways, uh, it's nice to hear from you sometime. Try this game out. Good night. Goodbye.